Good morning! I can legally say morning because it's legally morning when I'm streaming. That's crazy. This never happens. <laughs> How is everybody? How are you guys? Good morning. Good morning. Who is she? She's an early girly. It's <laughs> so loud. Baker, you probably have me on your car speakers, though, huh? <laughs> if you can safely tell us, how's your drive going? Okay, I can turn my volume down. Perfect. I'm so, so good because of Paramore's new pose. Bro, I am... Ah! I'm screaming about it. Because I... For a, for a while, I was nervous. I was like, oh, I... I don't know why... Paramore deleted all of their social stuff and Haley deleted all her social stuff. We're back. We're so fucking back, you know? <laughs> snow, snow day from work, teaching the kiddos means more time to hang out here. Hi, welcome. I hope you're enjoying your snow day. I'm so bored. It's been two hours. Oh, I thrive on on road trips when I drive. I just absolutely thrive. <gasps> Did I not pause the timer? I didn't pause the timer last night. What? Oh, it's because my computer shut down. Remember that? <laughs> Let me go back to the end of last night's VOD and see what our last time was. Um, and then we'll reset the timer to whatever that is. He is a gentleman. Road trips are some of my favorite things to do. I have done a cross country road trip. Three and a half times. Moved from North Carolina to Colorado to California in like 2013. Moved to North Carolina for a year in 2020, just to be closer to my dad during the pandemic. 2020 or 2021. Moved back to California the next year. And then moved to Texas. So three, three and a half. And now I live in Texas. How cute. All right. Oh, last night's VOD is not published because VODs are not automatically publishing because Twitch is trying to be nice and keep me from getting a copyright strike. But guess what? Who cares? Where were we when stream crashed? It's because it makes it so we can very Nine hours, 44 minutes? It looks like nine hours, 44 minutes. Perfect. Crying, that's more than I can say for him. Okay, timer settings. There we go. Got it working. Oh, that says 33 hours, that's so fun. That's not right. That's crazy, because on this... There it is. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Road trips are fun, but I'm always co-pilot, cool so I gotta stay awake and man the GPS and food. Siblings all get the sleep in the back with no issues. Someone's gotta do it. Definitely depends on the area of driving. I wouldn't risk driving across rural uh, North Dakota in the middle of winter. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Road trips during, like, w extreme weather... Not good for me. I'm fine. Like, I'm I'm really good at driving in rain. Um, snow is a whole other thing. Cold weather where there might be ice on the ground, a whole, whole other thing. I like road trips if I have a good playlist and podcast. Hey, Miss Ma'am. Third day in a row, we're being noisy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. And what about it? 
What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. I'm currently planning a Suedo road trip. 90% of the driving will be done by myself, but I'm so excited. Planning a trip stretches my brain. DT, where are you going? Also, Shuffle is on. I promise Shuffle is on, and this playlist has over 100 songs. Um, Spotify is just also a Fall Out Boy stand like me, apparently. <laughs> I do road trips to New Mexico for hiking every few months. Ooh, that's probably really nice. A nice little getaway. Spring break trip so Quinn, Lucy, and I can meet up for the first time. Ah! That's so fun! What the heck? I've got a 10-hour coach trip home on Friday. It's going to be a long day. Coach trip like a bus trip? Or, a, or a road trip? Or are you driving a coach with horses in the front? Do you, do you take a coach everywhere? <laughs> Fall Out Boy's newest album was on my top albums of Spotify last year. They are that band. They 100% are. Um, Kat, um, Kat and I have bonded so much over being Fall Out Boy stands. And y'all already know my very first screen name online was Fall Out Girl. And that I got catfished by several accounts on Gaia Online because I thought... Of course, of course, Andy Hurley, of course, Patrick Stump, Pete Wentz, <laughs> of course, they'd all be on Gaia online and have active accounts 24 seven. Of course, this is actually them. I'm going to message Patrick Stump XXFOB on follow up or on Gaia online and ask him to tell Pete Wentz that I love him. And he's going to respond and say, of course you're a Pete girl. He's so handsome. I would know. I see him all the time. And I believed it. I ate that shit up. <laughs> Love it. Um, speaking of intense fandoms, I'm going to tweet at ColourPop and beg beg and plead for them to put me on their PR list for their uh, Twilight campaign that they're doing. Hey, ColourPop. I'm a huge Twilight fan. <laughs> I love that anytime I type on stream, I have to, I have to speak it out loud. A Twihard or a ratty, if you will. <laughs> and I'd love to be considered, I'd love to do a collab, I'd love to do a collab Um, and then we put little emojis, like the little, like, you know, that kind of emoji. Huh. You're not even looking out the window when you bark. You're looking over at me. You're side-eyeing me. What do you want? Little lady, what's going on today? What's going on this week, actually? Hey! Honey! Come here! Get over here, Miss Ma'am. Come here. Come here. Come here. Will you sh shut up? Will you stop doing that? Is that okay? Big stretch. Oh, big stretch. You're my favorite person in the entire world. You know that. But you're also the loudest person I know. Thank you. You're wiggling so much. 
She's in a meeting. <laughs> um, that emoji's like pleading. The pleading emoji. Sparkle. Um, I need to go find some Twilight posts that I've made so I can link them. To like really show off, you know? I gotta find like a banger post that I made that went viral so I can so I can tag that in the tweet. <laughs> I'm going through all of my Twilight tweets on Twitter. <laughs> and Slay. Honestly, my hair was herring that day. Uh, watching Twilight on VHS is such a vibe. Watching Twilight the way God intended on a big screen in a field. <laughs> uh, I have tweeted about Twilight so many times. <laughs> we can't forget this. We cannot forget this picture that I posted on Facebook. Where I drew angel wings on myself. <laughs> uh, wow. Listening to Fall Out Boy and reading Twilight all over again. <laughs> Watching Jumper and Twilight for the hundredth time because it makes me happy. The replies on my Twilight Jumper tweets bursting a blood vessel over the fact that I like those movies. <laughs> Screw it, I'm rewatching the Twilight movies. Nothing has broke me this year quite like finding out Twilight was a my chemical romance fanfic and Edward's supposed to look like Gerard Way. Pretty sure that's not true. I just lied. When I morphed myself with the Twilight characters. Beautiful. <laughs> Mela is great. Mosley is also great. Hey, Miss Ma'am. Honeybee, I can yell too. Sorry, Christina Ritchie. Mimit? Mimit's the one. Makeup? I agree. I agree with myself. He belongs on Teen Wolf. Malice actually makes me want to gouge my eyes out. Masper? Terrible vibes. Marlisle? He's not really my type anymore, but Mesme. But Mesme. <laughs> I'll probably do this one. This one popped off. We almost had 4K on it. Okay, cool. We'll get that one going. What was Edward's, uh, when she rewrote the book to a gender swap version, what was Edward's name? Because Bella's name was Bo.
Edith. It was Edith with a Y. Edith with a Y. All right. You know what? What I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna just post that tweet with pictures of me as Edith and the t horrible, terrible picture of me from high school. <laughs> It'll be a great juxtaposition, you know? It's gonna be on my desktop, okay. Can't help but to hear. No, I can't help but to hear in exchanging of words. I love you, I love you too. What a beautiful wedding. What a beautiful wedding, says a bridesmaid to a waiter. What a shame the poor groom's bride is a shh. Hmm. I chime in. Haven't you people ever heard of? I need to find a picture of me wearing my Charlie, Charlie Swan, this shirt. <laughs> there it is. Okay, perfect. Slap this one in there. Oh, well, in fact. Well, I'll look at it this way. I mean, technically, our marriage is saved. We have any other pictures of me with Twilight stuff? I should have... I should have a picture of all my Twilight memorabilia, but I don't think it's going to be easy to find. Like, my DVDs, my three separate sets of books. My VHS copies of every movie. I also have my DILF shirt for um, Dr. Cullen, Carlisle. But I don't remember. I haven't worn that in a while, and I haven't posted a picture of it in a while. Oh, there's a picture of it. Okay, cool. So the tweet says, hey, ColourPop, I'm a huge Twilight fan, a.k.a. a Twihard or a Ratty, if you will. I'd love to do a collab with you for the Twilight and you're dropping, if possible. And we'll do like a little, a little emoji storyline. <laughs> Besties, I come to you asking for a favor. Just go reply to that tweet and say, she deserves this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you can. If you're if you're comfortable doing so. Hey. Why is the Canadian's Twitter live streaming Yuppie stuck in a cage? Get him out. Free this man. Free my boy. He did nothing wrong. Free my boy, Yuppie. Yuppie stays in, t in the cage until Cole is an NHL all-star. They're gonna lock up the mascot until people vote Cole to go to the NHL all-star game. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> also, we definitely should 
before we play Baldur's before we jump in, we got a Tate tweet here, y'all. But it's quote retweeting the A24 tweet with Paramore. And we have to watch this. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Ah, she's so cute. I love her so much. Little Haley. She's so tiny. Oh my God, talking heads. I'm gonna cry. Like, what a song for them to cover. Cool, baby. Fuck! I'm so excited. I'm so excited for that. That's one of my favorite songs from that era of music, too. It just hits every time. Gosh, it's gonna be so good. Haley's voice on that song. Please. Please. Talking heads are so damn good. We're gonna be eating good. And that's only track one. There's 16 tracks. 15 other artists gonna be on that that like mixtape that A24 is making. And they're starting out track one with Paramore. Why do I have a feeling Fall Out Boy is also going to be on the mixtape? Who do we think is going to be the other 15 artists? Definitely, if they could, Billie Eilish might be on it. I'm thinking of, like, popular artists that you might also hear in an A24 movie. St. Vincent. Sufjan Stevens, if they put, like, a depressing song on the on the soundtrack. <laughs> I say Billy Ellis for sure. They're probably also gonna have uh, Olivia Rodrigo. I don't listen to her music uh, much, but I feel like she's very popular right now. And they'd probably have her on there. Um. Personally, I want Dua Lipa on everything because she has immaculate vocals and her songs are always very dancey. I just love Dua Lipa. Dula Peep, if you will. <laughs> Macy Peters would do great on there. Mm -hmm. um, Sleep Token? I don't know if they'd do Sleep Token. I, I feel like Sleep Token is a very popular band in a very certain subset. But I don't think that they have they have reached like mainstream status yet. You know what I mean? Like Paramore, Billie Eilish, Dua Lipa, um, St. Vincent. Those are all artists that I definitely have heard on the radio, just like on a pop station. And I don't think Sleep Token has played on many stations outside of probably like just rock genre stations a haim cover would be great i don't know if they'll do talking like two talking head songs because if it's a mixtape it's probably going to be songs from 16 different artists from 16 different artists you know florence welch white stripes might be nice I feel like if we're doing like Fall Out Boy will definitely be on there. Just because every time someone wants to do like a rock cover but make it still be like a pop genre. Fall Out Boy's also always like tapped in for that. No matter what. They always tap Fall Out Boy in if they need like popular rock band. And Fall Out Boy would kind of like fall under an A24 kind of thing. Post Malone does do a lot of covers. Is Post Malone still pretty popular? My left field pick would be Pink, even though she hasn't been crazy popular lately. 
I want to go to a pink concert so bad. I want to see that woman fly. I want to see her. I want to, I, oh, I just want to see her going around. You know? Panic? Uh, Panic has kind of, the tide has turned on Panic to the point where, like, most posts I see about Panic at the disco anymore, like current Panic, are very negative. Um, generally because Brendan Urie has had a lot of backlash in recent years for stuff that he's done and stuff that he's said. Um, that's why he doesn't stream on Twitch anymore. Like he, he would stream on Twitch a lot and then a lot of stuff came out. He did, he did way too much. A lot of stories have come out about his like treatment of other people. Um, just his aura in general is pretty bad. That's why I only listen to early Panic albums and like A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. Um, anything that Ryan Ross touched is gold. Ryan Ross is King Midas. <laughs> um, so I don't think Panic would be on the album just because like their PR right now is pretty bad. Like, also, I'm going to say it. All the albums after Ryan Ross left the band kind of fucking sucked for Panic. I'm, I'm. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Boy Genius. Honestly, I could see Boy Genius being on the uh, album. They, they're pretty popular. I don't think there's a Panic song that has come out since Ryan Ross left the band that I, like, put on repeat. I know some of their later stuff that Brendan had a hand in. I couldn't name you a single one of them. But A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, that album, untouchable. That album has no skips. High Hopes. I remember that song coming out. I do. I I think I have. I've played that song a lot. But it's still just like a, any band could have made that song. I think I like this little life. <laughs> I think I like this little life. I thought they broke up. Panic? Well... It depends on what your term of breakup is because panic in recent years is literally just Brendan Yuri and like a house band. So they disbanded last year. It makes sense because I think Brendan is having a baby or had a baby with his wife. Um, he also said he was done with panic because it came on the heel of everyone being like oh you're actually a shitty person oh you've actually done really terrible things and everyone kind of turning against him where it it used to be oh brendan yuri that guy's voice is incredible i love panic and then whenever brendan yuri got brought up like once things started coming out about him it would be like that guy oh and so i the tides turned on him in the last couple of years and then he was like, yeah, I think, I think I'm done with Panic at the Disco. I, I think it's time to retire. We know why you're retiring. We get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it depends on your version of the term breakup because Panic, Panic is just a name at this point that Brendan Urie uses because it's a popular name and everyone knows it. In this house, we do not stand Brendan Urie. We might be a little emo scene kid from the early 2000s. We do not stand Brendan Urie here. Sorry. They announced it, which was really funny because everyone was like, isn't Brendan the only member you left? Yes, that was, I think that was my favorite part of scene Twitter when that happened. Uh, because everyone was quote tweeting it and being like, is this a real? It, could this be considered a breakup? Are you guys okay? Yeah. Sure. Happy retirement. <gasps> Wait, Hozier's probably gonna be on the A twenty four album. 
Poacher for sure. I could see that happening. Poacher's like having his big his big year in the last like two years. His big extended year. Noah Kahan. I could see Noah Kahan. I feel like Noah Kahan is getting popular. Like he's he's having a flash fire with of popularity right now, but he's not to the point of like solidifying himself yet. I think it's gonna happen. But I don't hmm. I also expect A24 to not just do like super popular artists. They might they might hit us with some like indie up and coming artists, because it's A24. So Hmm. With all this stuff coming out about people in the past bands and stuff, with people having tattoos and all, I'm happy I only have an MCR tattoo. They can do no they can do and have done no wrong. I enjoy the sentiment of that entire message. I'm also someone who will never say they can do or have done no wrong for a group of people. Um, because you never know. I love MCR so much. All those boys have my heart. But you never know. You can never know because you'll never know these people in real life. Celebrities, you'll never know. And the persona that they put on could be different. And it's the same for streamers. Who's your content, a concert with Lord Huron as a supporting artist? Ooh, that sounds really, really good. Who's your and Lord, Lord Huron is... I have a couple of his songs in my playlists that I listen to. But I haven't like done a deep dive on on Lord Huron in a bit. Number of fan fictions I wrote to a teen to MTR as a teen to MCR is wild. When I was a teen writing fan fiction, my number one artist I would write to, like put music on and write to, was Red Jumpsuit Apparatus and Flyleaf. Those were my two. <laughs> Yeah, most of these streamers are frauds. Mika's tattoos aren't even real, just for stream. Actually, did you know that um, we are all AI-generated people? Um, that's why you see this tattoo so often. Me, Kat, and Ashley, we're the same AI generation. We're just swapping our looks before we hit go live. We just can't get rid of this. You know, at least I never have to worry about regretting my Maroon 5 tattoo. <laughs> DT, holy fuck, that body of yours is insane. <laughs> hey, I couldn't make up the love yet for Twilight. So true. <laughs> so, so true. <laughs> oh, speaking of Flyleaf. This song, this song is so heavily religious, but God does it slap. Honest, honestly, Flyleaf as a band is so heavily religious, but God does it slap. In order to save her life or make it. The answer yes would make it. Make it. Do you believe in God? Written in a bullet! <laughs> oh, Crafty, it's such a struggle. It's such a struggle. See, the thing about this song as well, so... This song is like... It represents a very toxic side of Christianity because this song, Cassie, is written and fair warning, we're about to talk about Columbine, about school shootings. This song, Cassie, is written about a student from Columbine who was killed in Columbine. Her name was Cassie. And there was a faked story going around. I believe I, I read an account, I think, from one of her family members. There's a fake story going around when Columbine happened that the only reason 
that the Columbine school shooters killed Cassie was because they asked her if she believed in God. And she had just seen them do this to another kid. She saw them ask another kid, do you believe in God? They said yes, and they killed that kid. And so they go and ask Cassie. This is the story that they wrote this song about. They go and ask Cassie, and they say, do you believe in God? And she said yes, and Christians ran with that story and were like, she was so brave. She knew that she was going to get killed, but she still stood strong with her faith. It was a fake story. It's never confirmed, just like the... Very intense Christians like took that story and ran with it and started using it as like propaganda of like God and like being a Christian and like believing in your faith and standing strong and shit. And so Flyleaf wrote that song about this. And the entire chorus is, do you believe in God written on a bullet? Say yes to pull the trigger. Do you believe in God written on a bullet? And Cassie pulled the trigger. And it's like, y'all should have done a little bit of research because that's not a true story. And also, what a fucking wild chorus to be singing. <laughs> like, but it's all, the song slaps, like, all that aside, it's a very catchy, great song. <laughs> but you, if you pay attention to the lyrics too much, it's just like, oh, babe. Anyway, <laughs> American Horror Story season one did that. I wonder if that's where they got it from. Yeah, it's 100% where they got it from. American Horror Story season one with like the whole Tate storyline is definitely based off of uh, Columbine. Kind of like when Pumped Up Kicks came out, people thought the band were glamorizing Killing for Shoes, but the band had to tell people it was meant to be a learning lesson. Yeah. Mika, have you heard of or listened to Honey Revenge before? No, I haven't. I haven't even heard of them. By the lead singer is a big proponent of conversion therapy. Oh, Lacey, what the fuck? Oh, you know what? <laughs> I just looked over at Spotify and it had the artist profile up. Texas bread outfit, flyleaf. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Everything's coming together. How do I have shuffle on and it will just stay in bands? We're going to thrice. I'm going to go listen to Creed now. Wait, what? <laughs> I got to say, I've been lurking. Mika's about to make me clear up my whole Spotify list. Bro, there's so much. There's so much. It, the quote of, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become a villain is very true when it comes to musical artists. Like, put out two albums and just... Go to bed. <laughs> I don't want to know any more about you. One band that's been on my bucket list is Foo Fighters. I agree, Andromeda. I would love to see Foo Fighters live. One of the reasons I started um, playing drums was because of Foo Fighters. Um, one of my favorite drummers. And now it just makes me very sad. Taylor Hawkins. I think he's one of the greatest drummers personally. And I I will stand on that. And I was so, so very upset when he passed last or two oh two years ago. It's gonna be two years in March. I would probably go see Honey Revenge live on the twenty sixth this month. Oh. What is Honey Revenge? Like what genre are they? Have y'all seen the Jahira Coolidge tweet? No. Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park as well. No. I'll have to watch that off stream. 
Alrighty. Do y'all want to play some uh, Baldur's Gate? We've got five hours. Five hours to do stuff today. Just spin the wheel, I want the black until I... In 18, don't know if you guys saw when Foo Fighters came to Austin, they let a guy from the crowd play Monkey Wrench with them. I know that guy. I remember seeing that video! One of my favorite things is, is watching the videos, because Foo Fighters does it a lot where they'll bring up a, a person from the crowd to play guitar with them. Foo Fighters does it, Goo Goo Dolls does it, Michael Buble does it, but for singing. <laughs> Foo Fighters. <laughs> ah, Foo Fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, Foo Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best clips from SNL. Him explaining how that happened is so funny. Cause didn't didn't Christopher walk and ask him what the inflection was on? He asked Dave Roll, "Where's the inflection in Foo Fighters?" <laughs> Dave Grohl told him, fighters, like fighters, because he knew that Christopher Walken would say it that way. Boo, fighters. <laughs> Forget yesterday. They were on SNL again and Walken did it right this time. Ah. Oh. That makes me sad because it makes me realize that Christopher Walken probably like saw stuff online about it. Or maybe like an SNL worker was like, this is how you actually say it. It would have been great if we had gotten two Foo Fighters from Christopher Walken. By your side and I. Alrighty. Um... I'm just seeing that I got an achievement yesterday for killing Orin. Kill Orin while her cultists are performing their ritual chant. Only 15% of players have gotten that, but I'm wondering how many percent of players have gotten to the Orin fight. Because a lot of people just continually restart this game, making new characters. Yeah, I'm calling out some, of, some people in chat. Some of you. I know some of you do this. <clears throat> it's actually hard to do the way you did it, by the way. To kill Orin on like second round? Wait, how long do they perform their ritual chant? How did I do this? How did I do it the hard way? That was my first time ever fighting Orin. 300 hours, I've finished the game twice out of like six characters. To be fair, I have like six characters too, so I'm actually calling myself out as well. Some people just want a character creator similar. Hey. Hey, don't point fingers around here. Hey, watch out. I'm just joking. I killed Orin first round and it was so disappointing. I was ready for a Catholic level fight. Yeah, she's very, she has a very low health bar for like a late game fight. And I think it's specifically because she has the seven stack of unstoppable. And so if you don't take out the seven stack of unstoppable immediately, and I feel like that's only possible if you're running a wizard with magic missile like I did with Gale, because magic missile got me the seven hits immediately. Um, or if you're using like, a fighter with a ton of extra attacks. Could I get a TLDR on your character? Yes, she is a... Druid? Her name is Briofita. She talks like... 
Um. God, what's her name? Oh, fuck, I forgot her name. I was thinking about her all yesterday. She talks like this. She talks like the. Uh. No, she talks very. Very. Uh. What is her name? Not. No. She talks very. Fuck. She's a mu musical artist. She's weird. Bjork! She talks like Bjork. I think we're going to take apart the TV today. It's like a little town inside of your TV, TV set. She talks like Bjork. Um, her name is Briofita. She's a druid. Um, Briofita is a play on the scientific word for uh, moss because I designed her to look like a forest floor. Um, she's got like orange, brownish hues to her skin just to make it look kind of like a decaying leaf. And she's got green hair and brown brown streaks in her hair as well. Um, she's a druid. She's in a thruple with Astarian and Halson. We've been playing generally very good, but there have been some characters that I'm like, nah, you're dying, dude. <laughs> and uh, we're currently in the last, last bit of the game. We just have to kill... We have to disable the Steel Watch Foundry, kill Gortash, and then destroy the Elder Brain. Um, which we're gonna be using Orphic Hammer, Orphic Hammer on Orpheus to free Orpheus, and then use Orpheus to help destroy the or Elder Brain with us. And we're definitely killing the Emperor. Every character in our party is in Barbie pink attire. Um, I run a harem. Everyone else in the parties. We've got Gale the pool boy, Astarian the male wife, and then we switch out our th fourth with either Karlak, our muscle mommy, or Lazel. I don't really have a nickname for Lazel. She's just Lazel, you know? She's, she's, she doesn't need a nickname. But I run a harem and they all are very cute. We all wear our pajamas because we gotta, we gotta show off the goods, you know? Bazel, that's a good one. Lazel the Bazel. She's been on vacation for a while because she was kidnapped by Orin, but we we saved her and she didn't really... <laughs> she thanked us, which was like a very big thing because Githyanki don't have a word for thank you. But it was so funny to, to help her off of the ritual table and to be like, hey, we got you your sword, by the way. And she was like, sick, and just walked out of the room. And that was it. Were you going to do the dragon thing with Will and his dad? I don't think so. Um... I don't I'm I'm kind of picking and choosing what levels we do cuz we've got 9 hours and 45 minutes left. 9 hours 44 minutes left of our timer to finish this game. And I don't really care about doing the dragon. I feel like the dragon's not going to do much for us. Question is the emperor bad? Yes. Yes. Uh apparently I I got a scene with the emperor that not a lot of other people did. Um, which was, oh. Why did you go over there? OBS just went underneath my toolbar. Um, I got a scene with the emperor where uh, he kind of showed me his real hand Usually he'll lie to Tav and and make Tav think that he's like a really good guy. Um, but we kind of like talk back to him at one point when he was trying to get down and dirty with us and like sleep with us. And I said a specific thing and he revealed that he had everyone in his like adventuring party enthralled to think that he was a good person, but they were actually just like being forced to do his bidding and he was puppeteering them. <clears throat> it's massive lore dump for the dragon. Highly recommend to do the dragon, but I don't want to. I don't really care about the dragon. I really don't care. <laughs> like what thing does the dragon give me that's a big thing for this game? 
dragons, but I don't care about fighting a dragon. I don't care. I can just get the lore some other time, like, you know? I don't really care to. Do you want to know who the lore pertains to? Sure. Sure, <laughs> like, tell me everything about the dragon because we're not going to do it unless it's really cool, but we're not going to do it. <clears throat> the lore about the emperor? I don't care about that man. I'm going to kill him. He's going to die. There's nothing that you could tell me about the emperor that will change the way that I fight him. <laughs> it's going to be some lore that's like, this is who he was before he became a mind flayer. And uh, this is who he was before he got infected and turned into a mind flayer. The Emperor founded Baldur's Gate and killed the dragon because the dragon was going to kill him for becoming a mind flayer. Great! I'm still going to kill the Emperor! <laughs> Good for him, founding the city. And then killing the dragon that he asked to defend the city for him. The Emperor is Baldur? Okay. <laughs> Good for him. Good for that guy. He's gonna die. So you stop Man. How shitty. To found a city and then to just kind of like try to fuck it over in the end. All right, we need to go do steel foundry shit. is in this area. We also need to save all the Gandians. Gon Gandians? I always want to put an R in Gandian. Gondrian. Alrighty. Which makes me nervous because these guys are pretty tanky. The like steel watch guys. Yeah, not gonna lie, anytime I see an emperor stand on Twitter, I'm like, have y'all ever talked to this man? Yeah. No, it, what, it, what weirds me out the most is that, like, you talk to the emperor for five seconds and you're like, oh, you're actually a shitty dude. And if you want a tentacle daddy, Omalum is right there. Omalum is literally just standing to the side, waiting, and he's a sweetheart. Who... Became a Mind Flayer, but doesn't, like, didn't get sold on the Mind Flayer technique, you know? You can't fuck Omelum. But also, fucking the Emperor's a real weird scene to go through. Anyway, here's my harem. <laughs> I definitely... In I feel like Lazelle is probably insulted because I put her in Mind Flayer armor, but she looks so good. This is our pool boy, Gale. He's thoroughly stuffed. And this is our male wife, Astarian. God, do I love him. <laughs> um... We still have never used this. Maybe we'll use it for the final fight. Um, is that also Potion of Supreme Heal? Hello? Why won't they stack? Heals and removes burning. Heals and removes burning. What's the difference? There isn't one. I'm gonna send that to Astarian. Um, we have butterflies in stomach. I don't know what it does. We picked this up somewhere. I don't really remember where. But it's ergot nutmeg 
And it gives you the thrill of first love for four turns. Lost time is for 50 turns, which I think it... I don't know what it does. And then this is a paralytic poison. But then we have our smoke powder bomb, our void bulb, and then the ruined powder bomb, which we're supposed to use here in the steel watch foundry. Mother's loathing. A hint of blood lingers around the stopper. It's enough to make your mouth water. I don't know what these things are that I've picked up. I've got no idea what those are. <clears throat> anyway. Rest in peace, Volo. So, we need to get inside here. Ooh. The Department of Drains and Underways is aware of the issue of the penetrating stench emanating from the round street hatches that provide access to the city sewers. The tribe of gutter kobolds contracted to maintain free flow in the sanitation tunnels appears to have been slain or driven away by forces or some consensus unknown, and the resulting backup is responsible for the unpleasant odor. The department is taking appropriate measures to remedy the situation, but in the meantime, do not attempt to address the situation yourselves. Citizens are prohibited from using the round street sewer access hatches. Leave sanitation to the professionals. Do we have to fight this guy? Are they watching me lockpick? We just need to get in there, right? Do you think there's a back entrance? Well, there's a little elevator here. And then another door here. Interesting. Oh, cool. We can just look inside. Okay. I guess we go in the front. Let's crack it open. These are impressive achievements. Were the opponents even for the game? I'm sure you'll find it instructive. Or do you simply want to avoid risking your pallid neck? Come on, everybody, inside. We're closing this. There we go. I will be right behind you. Ew. Ew, this place has bad vibes. Gondians, Black Gauntlet, Fist of Bane Bag Dog. So it looks like the Gondians are friends, but we might have to fight these guys. We gotta free the Gondians before we do anything. We can jump up there. Let's be quick. That's it. Ah, we can't make it. But if we if we build ourselves. Oh. Oh. We build ourselves up there, you know. them all I swear to god
please? Babe. Babe, what are we doing? Get down here. Take your time, though. Take your time. But, like, hurry up. Lay? Laysel! Oh, girl. What is going on? <laughs> Laysel, I'm begging you. Will you just jump? Please. She won't move. She's scared. She's cooking. Do a quick reload, see if that fixes her. Hi, Frasia, how are you? My toxic trait is I shotgun every new potion I get, like Skyrim, just to learn. Or no. Aren't there some potions that could kill you? <coughs> hey! I'm gonna start barking back. Not enough spit. There we go. All right. Go to the Steel Watch Foundry. We're here. Ew. All right. Uh oh. Who killed the Gandhian worker over here? I'm just waiting. Elminster's not around. So I'm gonna need you mind. all to sneak. Why are you standing in their sight, girl? I swear to God. Come on. Come this way. Let's go. Psst, 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 psst. Come on, little guys. Check this out. Oh, they got beheaded. What is it? Quick and quiet. I'm gonna go ahead and save before I do this. He's too far Gandhian. Or no. <laughs> or no, please. <laughs> Okay. What is that? What is that? Oh, they want me to go down there. Got it. That's where that elevator would probably take me. Do I need to... Do I need to kill these people? Oh. That is the Save the Gandians, huh? They probably want me to do that before I go downstairs. Lab level warning plaque. So in this room... No position to negotiate, uh, there's one... One guy that could probably be unleashed on us, yeah? This guy? Unless he's just a prototype. <sighs> I feel like I have to kill all these people and save these Gandians. Consul Chad. Oh my word. Um, let's do it from here. This will give us the most line of sight. But I have a feeling I'm supposed to attack these people and save the Gandians.
Can't have disadvantage on this target? What do you mean? Why do I have disadvantage on him? I shouldn't. We're literally hidden. Sometimes I don't understand this game. There it is. Does he have any, uh, no resistance is perfect. Definitely want to sneak attack this man. Is he dead? He's at three. Kill this guy first. He's dead. Beautiful. Everyone else is crouched. That's wonderful. <clears throat> All right. So they have been thoroughly avoided. We just need to kill that guy, this guy. He's dead. And this guy. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Can't reach him. I'll move Astarion first. Strike. And then our our girl, Lazy. My path be true. It was a miss. But we'll do it again. Done. And I'm gonna improve. Three offs movement. Oh. Starion's movement. Though. If only I hadn't stopped him. Crit hit, nice. And then let's rally. Sure, we'll rally a story. Why not? that one too. Lazel, it's so nice to have you back. Oh, I didn't know that they were gonna also... Oh, babe, don't get too close to him. Oh, there's also this guy. Bane's command? What does that do? Creature will channel Bane's wrath? Oh, it's not that bad. Enlarged. Nice. Oh, there's also these guys. Okay, that's fine. We're okay. Why do you guys get in their way? Oh, actually, chain lightning's fantastic. That was beautiful. Um, sorry, sir. What the fuck was that? Ease motivation sequence activated. What's that? Hey, what's that? Hey, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Law Tony, thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the Shark Tank. Hope you're having a good one today. Hey. Hey, yo. Was that? What was that? That's an action. I want to do it. I want to do a bonus action because I want to get down there and I want to figure out what the fuck that is. Whatever the hell that is, I don't like it. Oh, that's my bonus action. Come on, give me give me something here. Hit that one. Still can't move enough. Out flank, out smart. I just want to get Gale there, you know. Not enough 
enough resources. Fuck. Gail, you're gonna have to get acidified, my my man. I'll get you just outside of it, but you are gonna have to hit it. I just want you there. I don't know what the fuck that thing is, and it scares me. All right, we have an Asimar down here. A diva? Who are you? I thought he was gonna slay a little bit more with that name. Are they all attacking my little guy? <laughs> They're all attacking my little guy down there. Shut up. Gain advantage on your next attack roll would be pretty sick. What are you? Celestial. Do we have? Construct, aberration, beast, undead. I don't think we have a celestial one. I got a real bad feeling about Gandhi and Loa though. We might need to, oh, we don't have Shadow Heart, so I can't even put anything on her. <clears throat> I wish that there was an arrow that you could shoot at someone and then transpose them somewhere else. That'd be pretty sick. Okay. We definitely gotta do something about this. Lazel is on her way. disadvantage but that's when I do this can't target self or talk I'll, I'll target lazy I'll target lazy I want to put him closer but it's really hard Could do it this way. I just want them to like get off of Gandhi and Loa, you know? She's doing her best. He's he's enlarging himself again. Crazy. Crazy crazy. Let's see. I need to get her a better on the move. A better thing, you know what I mean? Could do an action surge. Dash again. Get myself there. Pommel strike. Just to put myself in the area. And we'll evasive maneuver. Oh, cool. Guess that didn't do anything. <clears throat> they don't care about the Gandians. What outfit was Shart wearing? She was, using, she was wearing the booby one. Don't fall, please. I'm trying so hard to keep all of them alive. All right. Yup. Mm -hmm. Yup. Gail, what are we doing about this? Difficulty class five. Barely made it. Barely made it. I think, I think it's safe. What was it though? I don't know what it was. <laughs> All right, and then Gail's got a misty step closer somewhere so we can get him fighting back. Indubitably. 
Get him back in the fight. That's a perfect vantage point for him. All right, sweet boy, let's just give these things a try. Why don't we? What's Aura of Terror? Nearby enemies have disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. All right. You're dead. And that's on a Starion, baby boo. I wonder if this is worth the cost. We got you. You know what we're gonna do? Yup. Moonbeam's coming out to play, baby. You're dead. I want her to have line of sight over there. Time to press ahead. And also over there. So I'm gonna try to get my girl right here. All right. Nice. This man loves to enlarge himself. What the heck? All right, lazy. The superiority die. We're gonna lacerate. You. And then, rend the enemy's body and soul, stunning them, possibly. I haven't used any of her new stuff. And boy, does she have new stuff. Disarming attack. Weapon drop. Get got. And we can keep going. <laughs> yeah, let's soul breaker. Why not? You're dead. Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. No, the motivator. Deactivate it. Hurry. Didn't I already do that? Oh, it's this person's. Fuck. Wish I had an action surge right now. This will be fine. Get off of him! Get a job! Oh, bud. Do we have to do that now? They give you an extra action per turn per long rest. I don't know what bloodlust elixirs are. I never mess with potions. I don't do anything with potions. And maybe that's on me, but... I gotta get you closer, my man. Close enough that you can do something about that. But maybe Brioff can? It's just the motivator's gonna go next. And that scares me. If I can't get him closer, I need to do something about these guys. I'm wondering what do we have. 43, 34. Oh, you can't do anything actually <laughs> except this we could chain lightning i think i have that with him and now we get two of them and it would kill both of them immediately that's so fun so now deva's de wait deva died how did we kill deva prinsky's motivation sequence activated uh we did it! Gail, please don't walk in the moonbeam, hun. 
Oh my gosh, we did it. Wait. Easy path. Where the fuck did Deva go? What? Wait, Deva's a uh. The other person that I killed. Crafted Deva. Deva is someone that you can call. Deva's a summon because we've summoned Deva before. We've done that. Interesting. Security office key. Kill switch protocol. Prinsky's motivator is a su supreme banite means of ultimate coercion, but it is usefully s useful solely as a deterrent and not as a weapon. When triggered, the user only has moments to deactivate it before the prison tank charge detonate and the hostages are killed. Taking with it our leverage over the Gandhian artificers. Threaten convincingly, but never go full detonation unless the entire foundry falls to our enemies. So long as you hold the motivator, you are safe from the Gandians, for they know that if you are attacked, their loved ones will die. However, to prevent accidental massacre, the motivator can be deactivated easily with the correct input. Don't worry about the Gandians. They're too terrified to grab a drop no motivator. They are weak and cowardly, the natural player of the worshipper of Bane. Oh, they sound fun. They sound like a hoot. Anything of use? Let's see what Chad has. Nothing. Typical Chad. Nothing to offer. Okay. Let's go down and talk to the Gandians. And finish out this this thing. Dev is a pretty strong summon. I used them during my playthrough. Yeah. I was wondering why there just was a random Asimar. Hey. Why initiative? Are you okay? Hun? Uh. Talk to Xanner. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy. Did you see what happened? Is my little girl. Is Obedia safe? Some hostages died, but your daughter wasn't one of them. My heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the It's got the like a little bridge. saw collar on. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. I don't need you. I have the room powder bomb. Won't that do the trick? Your bomb will most certainly do the trick. Place it directly on the Neurositor. And then run like every fiend of the nine hells snaps at your heels. Okay. Sure. Oh, safe key. Congratulations, son. Just a quick note to tell you we are so proud of you for finally landing a job with the future. Lord Gortash will go far. And you were right to hit yourself to his star. Pa is certainly especially pleased with how you're carrying yourself on Throg's name. In fact, he's taking me out to the Elfson Tavern right now to celebrate. Say hello to that sweet Tammy Holtz for me, Mama. The salt colors are connected to the motivators. That makes sense then. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, sweet boy. So proud of you for getting a job. How sweet. Mama for sure watches Fox News. Oh, yeah. Ooh, another infernal maze. Let's walk around all of this. One of you is going to walk through it. I just know it. <gasps> I'm so proud. What the heck? That was... You know, that was actually... I'm proud. Will they walk through it again? <gasps> wow. Good thing for the auto save. Let's do a little short rest real quick. Some rest is better than no. Call cargo elevator there. Mechanical diagrams. What's the scry screen do? Side. I expect a gale to just stop in it. Yeah, me too. 
Banite confidential. So it's important to cooperate with our siblings who worship Merker, Merkel and Ball. Remember that Bane is the tyrant. It is Bane who rules. Subversion and capture of Gandhian operations in Baldur's Gate is a Banite project, particularly as regards to the gnomish artificers. They are ours, or more particularly, mine. They are not to be tadpoled, as that would expose them to control through the absolute hierarchy. Instead, they're to be locked in incineration collars that are remote controlled by Prinsky's motivators. <laughs> so is Gortash just... Tobin Bell? <laughs> I want those gnomes aware of what they are doing and deeply unhappy about it. When the Watcher Project is complete and the artificers are of no u further use, the survivors will then be tadpoled. Your time starts now. <laughs> the key to your callers is located somewhere within your guard. Keep an eye out. <laughs> uh... So we need to put the bomb on the thing, on the thing, on the neurocider. All right, time to skulk about. Neurocider. Carefully now. Huh? Why is everyone hurt? Gandian. Let me see. So, oh, they're fighting the little Gandians. Oh fuck. How am I gonna? How am I gonna save these people? I already used chain lightning. <laughs> Tail for the ages. Oh my fucking god. Hello? Where's the neurocider? In here? You want me to fight all these people? What's that? Oh, it's not his turn. He goes after the hellfire wall. There's two of them. Right, 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 right. There's three here fighting four. There's one, one. Fuck. Okay. All right. If only I had an arrow of many targets. I definitely use those a bunch, huh? Underbite, Bane, Bane. Let's get this guy. <laughs> He's done. We're just gonna fight our way through. Oh, he's prone. I was to say, he's dead. What are you doing? How many people will this hit? As many as three other enemies within 18 feet. Okay. 9% chance of hitting these guys? But they have a vulnerability to lightning. Percent, ninety percent, eighty-five, ninety. Only nine percent to hit them, but we might have the opportunity for the other guys to get lightning struck by hitting these guys. Like that! Just like that! Killed, killed, almost dead, almost dead. All right, sick, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. I hope y'all can hold out down here, because you're not priority. Right now. 
You'll be priority soon, but you're not priority now. You gonna run? You fight against progress. I will not allow it. Either. What's he doing? Spirit Guardian, level three. Yeah, I'll counterspell that. Get got. Hey! Leave her alone! Oh, Lays. Lays, we gotta get in there, girl. I'm gonna bonus action Misty step you in, just so we can fuck some people up. it that's fine I know that I have an attack that can do a sweep yup do an action surge I just want to take him out you know take out someone disarming distracting maneuvering who goes next not until our next turn anyway. We could do another sweeping attack. Probably, hopefully kill two. Killed one, two are very close. And hey, we can sweep attack again. I missed him, I'm pissed. We do it one more time. All our superiority dice, one turn. Fuck it. Oh, okay. Not the two people that are trying to attack you? Uh-oh. You gotta move. You gotta- Oh, you can't move. Grindo might be dead. Grindo might be dying. Hold on. Connor Bedard is out six to eight weeks. Oh man. That sucks because the all star game is in like three weeks. I'm in a save, but I'm having a brain blast right now. Right? Cannot be moved by force. Fuck! And I can't pick him up and I can't throw him. Well, I don't want to do that then. Fuck. That would have been cool. I was gonna transpose myself, push him out of the way, and then walk out of the thing. Who's the important Gandian? I didn't even know there was an important Gandian. No, I'm not trying to push the Sentinel, I'm trying to push the little guy. But they won't let me, he's immovable by force. For some reason. Maimed, threatened. They won't let me push him. Oh, you mean like pushing this guy? Luckily I have a secondary plan here. I do have a secondary plan, maybe. Possibly. I'm gonna offhand one. Full hand the other. 
And then start moving this way, because these guys are... Well, that guy's not taken care of, but... I don't have another plan. That sucks. I didn't... I forgot that they go directly after Astarian. Um... I was gonna Misty Step in bonus action with Gale. Pick him up with Dimension Door and Misty Step out. No, the important Gandhi and I told him he can leave. The engineer, he was like, I can come in and help you. And I was like, I have the bomb. I don't need you to come with me. And he was like, oh, okay. Just put the bomb here and you're good. So that's what I did. Um, electricity, vulnerability. So let's do, we do Witch Bolt at a high level. We do Witch Bolt with Gale and then when it comes around to, why the fuck is Brioff not? Briafita, I'm tired of you. I'm so tired of you. Is that gonna call lightning on her? No, it's just gonna call lightning on him. Goodness gracious. All right. Unleash me. Now, Gale. High level witch bolt, what do we need? Probably not gonna get it this turn, but. Oh, we're, we're gonna get it this turn. Got it. Lazelle can pick up and, and leave with that person. So then we'll go this way and start helping these guys out. As long as, yeah, that guy's on next turn. So as long as Lazelle can pick him up and leave, we're good. Got these guys. We're gonna project toward that guy. Those guys are dead. Good job. Ooh. Get their ass. Get their ass. Fuck them up. Can we just? Target cannot be moved by force. They are next though, so if I help them up, I'm not allowed. Oh, this sucks. I can't move them. That sucks. What am I supposed to do? It's a dumb thing just shutting them down instead of blowing them up. What do you mean? I feel like bringing someone along with us is dumb. I'd rather be able to just kind of like fuck everyone up. Wait, I can't move either. Oh no. Lazelle. <laughs> Why can't you move, babe? Is there anything I can do to get her to move? Jesus Christ. Maimed. The condition removed by healing! Wait! I have an idea. I 
have an idea. Give me a second. Can I help them up now? That's the question. Do I help them up? Or do I heal them and then throw them? I think I heal them because then he can move next. He heals himself, maybe? If he gets himself up and leaves? Please move. You didn't move! heavy to pick up. Doubled movement cost spirit guardians. Okay. Cannot be moved by force. Fuck me. Because that guy's gonna blow up next. Why is he gotta be so heavy? You know? What's his 29? Hold on. He's not gonna move, though. Like, if I hit here and hope to blow him back... I don't have Banish on... on uh, Starion's the only one that can go before the Hellfire Watcher. And I don't have Banish on him. The only thing I can try... He's not going to be moved by force, is the thing. And I don't know why. He's small. His weight is 35. Why can't I pick this man up? I can't move him by force. This sucks. This sucks. All my scrolls are on, uh, on Shadowheart. I literally can't move this man. I, I healed him and picked him up and he still was like, yeah, I'm not gonna walk here. You can still- Shadowheart is in camp. She's not here. <sighs> I'm just gonna attempt a knockback with an arrow and... I don't think it's gonna work, but it's the only thing I can do and I gotta try something. Cause it's gonna be force. Because he doesn't have his little thing of moving back, and neither does he. This sucks, man. Hopefully I don't crit this. Nope. Yep, he can't move. Okay, well, he's dying. Everyone say see you later to that fucking Gandhian who just apparently doesn't want to move. Idiot. Absolute idiot. Anyway, we got Gale here. We can cone a cold, just a single guy. But I'm gonna move my light over. This person. Oh, 
Yeah, that's fine. Don't do it then. No, I didn't want to do it anyway, so... Don't worry about it. Give everyone a little heal. Because that's all you can catch my breath. Need to find a way forward. walk sure the Ghanians just need to like cut their losses and run I don't understand why they're fighting they're being so so dumb why did I save these people I'm not sure I actually have no idea why I did this. Is that person left? Uh oh, I should have been doing these. chance that it's not gonna blow up can I also nope okay cool They fucked around and found out. It, that's not my fault. First try. If they had just ran, <laughs> there were too many miss. <laughs> there's too many pieces on the board, you know. Oh my god. A poem for a lamp pulse. How awed I was by your strength till I saw it was less than your gentleness. No one exceeded, exceeded your precision, your standards, your patience. Patience was your watchword. Patience and love. That's the guy that didn't run, by the way. That's the guy that just kind of like stood and waited to get blown up. Giving that one to Carlac. And that one to Carlac. I'm at the point where I don't need to sell anything, so I don't need to overload my characters with items. I've really grown as a person, you know? Metal crate key, nice. Submersible maintenance. Guard rotation. More Gondian bodies. Pawns, control level key. To Clotida. Dear Reaper of Ball Clotida, it was one of the chosen meetings that I saw ya. I was Gordon Lord Gortash, you were Gordon Lord Lady Oren. They went into the meeting room while we guarded the door, and you and I spoke so briefly, but every word you said is graven on my heart as if carved by an interrogation chisel. I looked into your fiery eyes and I felt, how can I describe it? I felt a real connection like nothing I'd ever. And he didn't get to finish writing it. Sucks to be him, I guess. Okay. Guessing it's in that, that area. Oh. What the hell's going on up here? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, he's in surgery. What's that mean? Unable to move while stra strapped to a gurney. Right, 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 right. Death won't 
take me yet. Better go kill him. Better go kill him. Oh! Did he just death drop? <gasps> Slay. Slay. The cadaver with the brain removed. This is how they pop it with still watch. Oh my god. Slay. Oh. Well, now that doesn't look nice. Oh, lampos. What were you writing? Please help. The Benites have taken our family out, family hostages. They're being held in an underwater prison. Get to the submersible by the. I already did that, hun. You're fine. I saved your friends and your family. Everything's okay now. He said purr. <laughs> he really he really did. All right. Find the right place to use the room powder bomb. Got it. Ooh, brain jar. A parasite stirs within the pickled brain. Twitching. I have to pee. As so bad, connects, but I'm gonna wait. You feel yourself become strong, powerful, metal. You are a steel watcher, charging through the streets in pursuit of a young girl. She is screaming. Try to trip the steel watcher. Probably should have saved before doing this, but... The parasite is too strong. She cries for her mother as you draw your lance. Raise you are kicked from the infected brain. Hey, what? No, I... a glimpse of a busy... Yeah. Um, Lays? Lays? Enough waiting. Lazy girl? Crave blood. What about this one? Mind what with a jerk. Please, Mr. Steel Watcher, sir. I'll, I'll never steal again. I swear it on my mom's life. Just let me go. Of course, Lazel gets up. Two. You take control. So, so. You are kicked from the Watcher as the dwarf. All right. Cool. What about this one? Um, let's get a star in on, on one of these. Oh, there's also a whole the other. In this jar is controlling a watcher on sentry duty at Worms Rock. It patrols back and forth, vigilant for trouble. Cool. Let's see what this one is. Your tadpole eager. You are a steel watcher. God. He said he was Flaming Fist. That we had to empty our pockets if we wanted to enter the city. We didn't know it was a scam. We have nothing left, and my kids are half starved. Please, let us into the city. We have nowhere else to go. Hey, stupid parasite! Leave him alone! <laughs> I should have used my illicit on the first one, protest, but, but thank you, sir. You were kicked from the watcher's brain. I like to imagine that they're all just like dying out there while we do this. The brain in this jar is aware that its watcher is on duty in the control center. Vast and throbbing with illithid telepathy. The this brain controls it is ignores your mind touch as a mere distraction. Brain dreams. You're all dead! In a garden cottage in spring. All of you are dead! No one back home will ever believe this. It doesn't even sound like her. Is that what we gotta do?
What in the hell is happening in here? Nothing. Hold on. Um. Okay, we don't have any potions. I know that I have a spell. Somewhere. Someone has it. It's an illusion. Do I have an... I don't. What path lies before me? Hmm. Not scratch his ball. I want to give this to my boy. All right. I'm having a I'm having a thought right now. I'm also going to give him all the keys, because I think we have a key for the elevator. If this doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know? But we're going to try. What game is next for you? We're probably going to play Alan Wake Final Draft after we beat this. Alright, bad guys over there. Take your time. Oh! Hey! What the fuck happened here? Oh, did that Steel Watcher try to come inside while we were fighting and killed Frell? Is Frell the person? No. I don't think he's the Gandhian we we're worrying about. What happened here? I'm confused. All right, so they're here. This might go terribly wrong. I don't have any invisibility potions. Ready or not. Just like old times. Where do I need to put it? Here, here. Neural switchboard. But where's the thing that I'm supposed to put it in?
Is it that? He's dead. Baby boy, you might be dead. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe later, when I'm not locked in combat. Yeah, we're not doing that with him. Um I don't know where the little thing is that I'm supposed to set off. Cause it says I'm supposed to put it in like the something. But I don't know. It's like a Sir Sarah something. I'm wondering if I can just like throw the bomb and <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> huh. I'm thinking this is the thing that I have to do something with. I really wish that I had an invisibility potion right now. I could change, I could disguise myself. It'd be cool if I could put the bomb on an arrow and shoot it at this thing, because I feel like this is the thing they want me to hit with it. Find the right place to use the rune powder bomb. Can't. Silent is the grave. Silent is the grave. I feel like this will work if I can get myself in a position where I'm not going to be seen. As long as he doesn't like step forward. You know? But it's also scary. Maybe we could go here? It's so scary. He won't be alerted, right? The neurositor awaits your input. will destroy the foundry, wiping it from the face of the Forgotten Realms. Yes, baby! Oh my god. I didn't fight the titan, no. I just, I snuck in, put the bomb in, and ran out. That's incredible. That's so fucking that incredible. Was a hell of a show, my friend. It was worth it. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak. And the foundry. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> the scent of rune powder drifts through the city. Like I love how many ways place. you can do shit in this I game, bro. I bomb did the trick. But it's not That's over. incredible. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, 
Baldur's Gate is under threat. Oh. Oh, Enough. The Gondians are no more. Casey, is that why you were telling me to go pee before I went in that room? Take the city. Let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and mourn That's so funny. In peace. The encounter went from like probably a 30 minute fight to two minutes. <laughs> One of the best bows in the game is what the Titan drops. Oh well. Um... What about Gortash? What if he forces you to build up his steel watch once more? He'll never find us. Ooh. We have safe houses all over the city. We are no threat. I swear it. Please. <laughs> if a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and check. It is us. Tubin will lie, torment, Wait. and scheme until his dying breath. Kill him. Wolburn, what are we doing here, bud? We gotta intimidate him. We gotta be like, bro. We gotta get him out of here. So this is this is probably gonna be like. Either I get the Gondri Gondians to help me, or I get Wolbrun's guys to help me. Oh, sweet boy, what are we doing here? We're apparently succeeding. That's what we're doing here. I thought you were rebel in arms. I see Who the now. fuck is Barkus? A snake <laughs> waiting for its moment to strike. Hey! Don't talk Keep to my male wife like that. Guardian. I have no use for broken things, but know that I will not rest until this city the is wind, rid of the Gondians and their bootlickers. When the day comes, my Will find I did save him. And crack them wide open. I did. Hands, move out. In another save, I didn't. And I, I let him go in one last little flight. I think it is past time Obelia and I left this city. There is nothing for us here now. Died to some lava. Wait, did he die to lava for me? Damn. Damn, the Steel Watchers are dead. Damn. Gortash, what are you gonna do, big boy? Nothing. Because you can do nothing. Cut my life into pieces. This is his last resort. Hey, do y'all mind if I... communal use, it seems. Oh. I literally just killed all these things for you guys, and you're not gonna let me loot them? Got it, got it. Understood. Just like old times. Let's to the shadows. I'm gonna steal this one, because no one's looking. Gotta get it for Carlac. My baby girl. Stepping so. Here you go, Carlac. Let's move. Okay. Gail? Gail? This calls for careful. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. My bad, my bad. Alright. Very well. It's time to fuck up Gortash's entire life. Do you think he's scared? Do you think Gortash is scared? I need to go. I need to do some gossip girling. So I'm gonna take us back to camp. I feel like I can't take. Lazelle's great at fighting because she can do like eight moves a turn as a fighter. 
But I think I need to take Karlak if we want to go kill Gortash. Just, just on the basis of like being pals with Karlak. I need a moment for the two of us. So let me switch them, and Most then I'll, I'll the do a gossip girl. Can... Are you sure that's the best course? Confirm. Because Lazel's gonna have the whole in game for herself with copper for your thoughts. Let's go. With uh, Orpheus and all the other people. Holy shit, 59. Okay, um, I'll just leave you guys with, with the homies, with the vibes. And then, uh, could be our B screen actually. No, I'll leave you here, I'll leave you here. Nandre, thank you so much for uh, entering month five of your gift subscription. You said that you sent me a DM on Instagram. Check your phone. Oh, dear God, here we go. Oh, well, this is a this is a bop and a banger. On Instagram. Andre, do we follow each other on Instagram? <laughs> Did you send me a- you sent me a DM. 
We've talked. Where is your DM? I see Alejo. Uh, it's telling me I have a big forehead. <laughs> Decided to go a different route. I added a turkey panini to my forehead? <laughs> For my forehead billboard? You're not going to do ad space there. Thanks for putting a turkey panini on my, my forehead. I appreciate it. I think that fits. Eat at Joe's on my forehead. <laughs> no, I actually wasn't expecting to have requests because, like, my Instagram's pretty dead. But I did just get a request right after Nandre from a person with a, a nude Thanos profile picture with a huge, like, dick out. That just says, you should start an OnlyFans. That was at 1.21 p.m. And I have to respect this person for their tenacity because the only other message they've ever tried to send me, December 2022, which was over a year ago, OnlyFans it up, queen. Hey, they're sticking to their guns and I respect it. Will I be following their uh, advice? Probably not, <laughs> but they're trying. Whatever, I'll send it on Discord so it goes through. I accepted, you didn't send the pic. Uh, it didn't send a pic along with it, but I did follow you back on Instagram. So you should be able to send me a DM. Just fine now, Nandre. It still has you at my requests, hold on. Let me accept. I hate social media. <laughs> Nandre, thank you so much for putting a panini on my head. I really appreciate it. I think that looks great. I think that's what we should do. I'm no longer selling ad space up here. <laughs> <laughs> They're really trying. They're consistent, you know? Does the panini have bacon in it? Oh, guys, can you give me a second? Marvin Beak is calling. <laughs> Nandre, what the fuck is this? You have the weirdest pictures that you use. <laughs> Um, are you guys still hooba stanking or do you want to play some Baldur's Gate? You guys still stanking your hooba? Wait, I can let you stank your hooba. It's time to gate? Yeah, the stank is over. Hoobas have been stanked. It's time to kill a, a scene kid. It's time to kill a scene kid who's 35. Probably even 40, if we're being honest with ourselves. Sure. Surprised you haven't played PTB yet? What, the Alan Wake PTB? I don't really like doing PTB. I'm someone who needs, if I'm gonna play a game, I need to be making progress in that game. In PTB, you don't you don't make any progress. Okay. Um No, I'm not saying that 40 year olds are old. I'm saying that a man dressed as Gortash being 40 years old. <laughs> Me win battle pass, yeah. All right, uh, so Gortash is, where is Gortash? Where do we go to kill that man? I feel like it's this way, because now, now that the steel watch is down, we can just kind of like go wherever we want.
Y'all aren't gonna fight me right now, right? Where's Cortesh at? Because we're supposed to defeat that man. The Iron Throne. Wait, where was that? No, that's his secret base. We already did that. Not this way, then. We are not ready. We should heed the Emperor's Max, name. where's Gortash? Passing the gates could be the death of us. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <gasps> <gasps> Messenger rat. I think we've already talked to the rat. Previous zone before lower city. Oh, that's right. He's. That way, right? Worms crossing. Gross. We still have Undercity stuff to do, but not right now. I forgot. I thought Gortash was in this area. That's crazy. Did I get a Habs forehead tattoo? Oh. Yeah, they're they're not jazzed about me being here, are they? They're not jazzed at all. <laughs> hey, it's Anser's it's Anser's lair. <laughs> huh. I gotta say, the way that this Steel Watcher dropped... I'm gonna hold my tongue. Well, hello. If we get too close, they're gonna get me, so... Get godded. Get godded again. <laughs> hey, just one more time though. Just a single time more. Get godded. Blaze Savora, who the fuck are you? Why do you look like you're fighting the fist? Should I not have killed this person? No, it was a fist. I should have. We kill fists out here. Not enough movement. Go check this guy out. Give that to Karlak. Death is but a word away. Look to Queen Six. We're gonna cantrip. Cantrip on in here. Can't even move anymore, sweet boy. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, you're done, huh? No, it's gonna disrobe her. I always forget. Doesn't matter how many times. Got loser. Ooh. 
Are the fists bad people? Or are, are we bad people? Are the fists bad? Fists are bad people, right? We should... They're bad. I can't remember, because we did all the fist stuff before. No, but like, not in this... They answered to Gortash. Okay, then they're bad. Perfect. You're not doing that to my girl. Sorry. Hey! What did I just say? Let's see it, Sarek. All fists are bad. Okay, cool. No, take your time. Take your time. I'll wait. I'll look at hockey videos. Take your time. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Someone just said I had a five head. And I can't blame him. But be nice to me. I'm just a little baby. Not enough movement. Not enough movement. That's fine. What's she gonna do? Ooh. about that though is that Carlac is the closest one and Carlac can't like she's I eat all the words I just said to Kona cold myself. We'll see, we'll see. We have other stuff. We have other stuff we can do. Like Ray of Frost. I really should take everyone out. Well, Carlet can handle those guys. While we do this. Let me just double check this guy. Resistance, fire immunity. Okay, cool. Alright, Carlac. It's go time. Alright, baby girl. Let's get in there. Perfect. Who goes next? All y'all fuckers. I'm just gonna hold the line. Just hold the line, simply. Saved. This guy does not know what he wants to do. At all. Someone just called me Megamind? Hello? gonna get everyone so we're gonna do ice knife Gale oh you're fine you're fine it was just them do I have any water that I could just <laughs> splash on it That'd be so funny. Hey! Babe! If I kill- If I kill her, do the fire elementals die? 
Probably. They're not doing too much damage. Alright, Carly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do whatever I need to to kill uh, Miss Ma'am over here. Speak, they burn. What's she at? 40? Incoming. I'll take the opportunity attack. <laughs> I don't mind it. Don't get anything else. Fuck. I was hoping I could kill her in one go. She's six left. Miss this. Actually, time to move. I hear. Seventy-two damage. <laughs> That's so funny. And now we'll do that. Okay, cool. It all worked out. Except this guy's still alive. Who conjured you, little bitch? Who conjured this one? They don't really say. Who did that? You should be gone. I killed I killed the master. Oh, is it this person? Got it. What do we have here? 40. Torment. 24. You can't. You can't do it. Wizards are so cool. All right, let's go, Sarek. Get him, show him, show him how it's done, Sarek. Good job, bud. I'm gonna leave him till last because he's not really doing anything. <laughs> It's that person that we need to kill. So, good miss. Um, can't really do much with her. I could moonbeam. You know how much I love moonbeam. What do we need? 24? Might as well slap a good little level four up there. Of course it wouldn't hit for the full. Because, like, why would that ever happen for me? I don't know why I ever expect anything. You're dead. And now we can just take them all out. He just put me on my hands and knees! And he's not even that cute! I'm so sorry, you bitch. You're so close to dying. Let's cut the fire, baby. Am I blurred? I'm displaced. Those have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. I don't remember giving myself that, but I'll take it nonetheless. Get frightened. Get frightened. Get dead. Get absolutely dead. Anything else in here? 
Oriana's chest, Dresden's chest, Devin's chest. Moving. Derek's not gonna do anything, so he'll be an easy kill. Give us nothing! Give us nothing! got me and my boyfriend on our knees at the same time that's crazy and he's still not dead Again, we gotta leave Sarek alive, because what's he gonna do? Nothing. Now we'll kill him. Oh, never mind, he's still alive. He's just down. Hey, Sarek, go ahead, give us nothing again. Gale, yeah, Gale's not, sorry. I'm so sorry, they're not naked. They're all barbied, though. They're all barbied up. It's the Barbie squad. Harlock, you wanna do the honors yes. with this guy? We can get the other guy What's for sure. It's because he's knocked out. We don't have to do anything with him. That's sweet. Thanks for your chest. Oriana, I want your key. Thank you. Let that all fit in my pack. Oh, I don't want to take the javelin. Come on, now. Get dressed in, because he has a chest, I think. Yo. <gasps> he had food. What's Sarek have? Also a chest. What about okay. Savora? What about Raynash? Grapes. Money. If you didn't have anything. Then through. But De Devin has a chest. Give me your key. I also just realized. I need to grab my key things back from Astarian. There we go. Oh, that's so nice that it auto-stacked them all in there. That was actually very oh, wow. Mmm, wow. Beautiful. New recruit booklet. I've got a little wash bin over there. Something now we can unlock right? all their chests. I could sneeze, but it's not happening. I'm in sneeze limbo. Is that? Oh, Loudstone, we never got yours. Are you the one that's over here? Yep, that's you. Luckily, I got my own key. Oh! Oh no. Stealing from your comrades, are you? Shame on you. If the fists can't trust each other, we stand no chance against our enemies. That goes to Carla, little teddy bear. And goods, lantern. All right. Time to go kill another room. All right. What now? I'm gonna go slaughter another room, I guess. How much farther can I go? In here. You'll watch guys that are dead.
Arclea or Laurel. I wonder if she'll want to talk to me. Maybe we can convince her to just get out of town. Hey, maybe you should leave, baby girl. Let's see. Clark, thank you so much for the salute. Very well. Let's talk. They don't want to talk. Gods, it's hot in here. Why don't they want to talk to me? Get in there, baby girl. We're gonna reckless this I'm guy. Going to enjoy this. And we're gonna hit him with a lacerate. Okay, so like picture that though. You you know that there's enemies in the building, and in the span of four seconds. A tiefling yells very loudly, runs in, and murders one of your friends almost immediately. Like, no hesitation. That's crazy. How did you become a Canadians fan in Texas? Just curious. You're originally from Montreal. I... Yeah, I am from Montreal. Uh, we. Oui. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm originally from North Carolina, but I... We did this thing where I went and I watched an AHL game just because I got bored one night and I've never been to a hockey game. So I went and saw the Texas Stars play, which is the AHL feeder team for the Dallas Stars NHL team. Um, and I loved it. I had the most fun I've ever had at like an event before. Um, just went alone. And then I came home, talked to stream about how much I love hockey. Everyone started uh, telling me what hockey teams I should get into. So then we did a hockey stream where I came up with six categories and we went down the entire NHL team roster and basically voted on teams by vibe. And I gave them points by vibe alone of like their jersey color, um, just like fun facts about the team, stuff that they do every year uh, and a bunch of other stuff and like notable players. And then the top seven to 10 teams I made a list of from how many points they made. And I went and uh, my friend Casey lent me their ESPN Plus account so that I could start watching NHL games. And for the next two weeks after that stream, I watched every single NHL game I possibly could every single night. Uh, I was putting on like four games at a time in the ESPN Plus thing. And um, I found myself very quickly after that gravitating toward Habs games. Like if there were several games on at a time and two of them were back from commercial break or back from a intermission, I would put the Habs game audio on or I would put the Habs game full screen. And so uh, I found out very quickly that I just really like the, the team build of the Habs. They're in a rebuild year. We're pretty like low tier as a team but I can see the vision that Martin St. Louis and Kent Hughes have of like building the team up and so um I just really really like it and I like all the players they seem to just have like really good team camaraderie and uh I know them all by name and jersey number now I can pick them out of a crowd they're my boys I'm fearful for when we do our first trade because I know trade deadline for this season is coming up and we might be trading. We have a three goalie problem right now, as well as way too many defensemen. We just put a, a player on waivers. So like, I feel a trade might be coming soon and I fear for it because it's gonna be my first time a player is gonna get traded since I've started watching hockey and picking a team. And I've gotten so attached to our current roster that it's gonna hurt me. <laughs> it's gonna hurt me so bad. It's gonna be my own personal, like, when they traded away P.K. Subban, uh, P.K. Subban, um, back in the day. 
So it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. But luckily, my favorite players on the team, I don't see them getting traded anytime soon. Like Yuri Slavkovsky. We literally this is his first year with us. We drafted him. I don't see him getting traded away. Cole and Nick, also I don't see getting traded away. Um, because they're kind of like the heart of the team, and that makes up our first line. And then my other favorite team member is Samuel Montembeau, our goalie. He's our best goalie on the team. And I see a lot of people saying that we're going to trade Sam away because he's a good goalie. So that would give us value in a trade. But that would also leave us with two mid to bad tier goalies. And so we're definitely having a hockey tangent right now. So you can mark that off on your bingo sheets, pals. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that's how I, that, that's how I chose them. And um, I'm a lifelong Habs fan already. Like, I have so much Habs merch. The Christmas tree that you can see a little bit of, people sent um, a handful of Christmas ornaments for it this year that are all Canadians ornaments. I just love hockey. Hockey's the best sport in the world. Wings fan, been a long decade of them, but Zerman uh, turning them around. My best friend Kat is a Wings fan, so they're like my secondary team that I pay attention to. Um, cause I like, I like being able to like talk to Kat about the stuff that's going on with the Red Wings. Um, and I'm a big fan of their goalie lion because Kat has got me a big fan. It has made me a big fan of lion as well. Wiserman, thank you for, for letting me know. I was just going to call him Iserman. All right. So Carlat can't move anymore. But we could get Gale in here step. with a glyph. Now that our hockey tangent's over. Let's see. I don't think they're going to have any resistances. None. Okay, perfect. Then we'll do fire. Everyone loves fire. Are you telling me you can't get that close? Bestie boy, bestie boy. Bestie boy? What do you mean? You're making me so mad, bestie boy. I guess at this point we'll just magic missile them. Two, three, four. Oh, you only have four? He's dead. He's almost dead. There's blood in the air. Let's move. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. This loudstone, this Callaway, this Broco. Do this guy. Yes. Nice. Probably can't reach. Would have been cool though. They just called him Stevie Y when I played. Wait, the Y is pronounced I? It's Iserman? It's not Wiserman. <gasps> wow. I went skating with Mika and Shira and I only ate shit once. True! I watch Shira eat shit more than Clark. <laughs> but Shira, Shira would fall and immediately pop back up. Whenever I fall, I'm I'm out for like a good five minutes, either laughing at myself or dying of embarrassment. Shira does go noom. Shira was very fast. Okay. This is gonna feel you can't do anything else, sweet baby girl. What's Loudstone gonna do? Nothing? He's gonna do nothing because you can do nothing? Oh. Good job, babe. That was crazy. Not all of us being in the doorway. What am I gonna do here? Do you think that's enough for a moon's moon 
Moonbeam. It's not. It's one or the other. So in that case... We Moonbeam him. We get rid of her. Okay, cool. Oh! Groko! Sorry, I didn't see you there. Thinking about a new PC, is an i7 with a 4070 good enough? I'm the wrong person to, to ask. I just see numbers. <laughs> I wish I knew. Sounds like fun. Oh. He's a... It's just that girl and him. And I'm gonna have Karlak go first, because I think Karlak can... Carlette can reckless this person. Show him who you, are. you got it, babe. Good job. One hit. One hit wonder. The last board is set. And honestly, Gail, I don't even think we need to hit. But it, you can if you want to. So we'll fireball. Or firebolt. We'll let the moonstone take him out. Beautiful. Let's get going. B E A beautiful. Little shield. Oh. Send these to camp. Send this to Starion. What happened to Ar Arclea? I actually forgot what we did to her. Let's have a look. Grab this. Our luck. Grab your key. We have Broco's key and Loudstone's key and Cragbender's key, but I don't know where their chests are. Interesting. Because the only chests left. Unless I wasn't looking in the right spot. Well, this is the place that we have to go later. But maybe there's another employee area? I don't think there is. Because it's this room. The only chest we have left is this one to grab. Loudstones. Oh, and I guess Bakshi's. But I thought I... Yeah, that was the guy that had the uh, teddy bear. No traps, please. Potion of animal speaking to a Starion. Grab the money. We still have two chest keys that we haven't used anywhere. Interesting. And I don't know where those go. We definitely need to long rest before we go down, because we're going to be fighting Gortash after this. For sure. What is that? Horse curtain. Do you think I can get rid of it? Oh, I can disarm it with... Watch your back. Sorry, boy. I don't even know if I need to do this. kind of sick, though. I like doing things. Just getting rid of it, whatever. Dread rightly. Two K for a graphics card is an insane amount of money. I got my PC when the last uh graphics cards came out, not the forties, the it was like thirty eighties. I think that's the one I have. And they were really hard to get because they were being uh, completely, what's it called? Um, bought out by the people that were using them to do crypto. And the only way that I got my uh, graphics card was I got it in a pre-built pre but like custom PC because I upgraded my PC at the same time. 
And that just was very lucky for me. Cyberpunk on PC? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that we have some people that play like Cyberpunk on laptops in chat and in our Discord. But if you definitely want to do like ray tracing stuff, um, I know the 3080 can handle it because I used ray tracing when we played. Just disarming everything I possibly can get my little fingers on. Okay. I don't know where the other two people's chests are. Maybe they're downstairs. Maybe there's like a secondary room. Or... We gotta go in here. I didn't even realize this was a thing. Okay. <gasps> Flame enameled armor. You have resistance to fire damage and a plus two bonus to saving throws. You gain plus two bonus to initiative rolls. Disadvantage on stealth checks. Fire shield warm. That's pretty cool. Look at all the potions we can get. Ooh. Heavy crossbow one, battle axe one, hand axe one, light crossbow one. What is Gale using right now? The long arm of the Gur. Ah, it's good for undead. But this has better damage, I think. So, we switch him out, because that has a little bit better damage. On my way. Oh, not you, These Gil. things have stayed interesting. Um, let's get Starry to take all the potions. Oh, this? Looks sort of heroism. Trap disarm. Potion of speed. Antidote. Greater healing. Greater healing. Shocking grass. Okay. This way. Transfer request, bail report, some comfort. Oh, it's a letter. Hey you. You poor son of a bitch. I was here before you and all I could say is good luck. These flaming fist folk do not fuck around, and I've seen them do bad things to people who deserve something. Maybe, but not what they got. I'm scared. Maybe this will comfort you knowing someone was scared before. Maybe you ain't the scaredy cat type. Either way, take it breezy and easy and keep your chin up. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Sounds good. We watch deliveries, we got book scrolls. Okay. I think we're done in here. And that passageway goes to it goes to both places we need to go. We go up to go to Gortash. I think we go down to go to answer, but we're not gonna do the dragon. Let's I thought that maybe this would be the way, but that's like the meeting hall that we first saw Gortash in. I'm guessing not. Do a quick little save, a little quick little savey save, and that's why we saved. Is there anything cool in here, though? Or would this just be a fight to fight? <gasps> he killed so many people. They killed all the lords. Concussion grenades are back here. Oh, these. There you go. A rough tempest I will raise. 
Here you go. See, this is the thing that scares me. She's fireproof. Almost. A little. That guy's still alive. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. She's still alive. Thirteen. We'll do a nice little firebolt. Nice little firebolt on him. Okay. The other guys are, like, around there. So we can kind of just, like, set ourselves up a little. There are these still... Peace. You said it. You said it, sister. Let's spread ourselves out a little bit. Oh, look at that thing. Interesting. And wait for them to move, because they'll probably come towards us, maybe? Yep, they're going to dash over here. Cool. There's an achievement for not setting off any of the traps. And by setting off, is that like me hitting it? So is that achievement dead in the water for me now? That's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it. I think you still got it? Huh. There's a lot of other traps still, but... More concussion grenades? Oh, babe, you want me to keep... No, these things are throwing the grenades. Bash Gail, you throw this one. Uh, 25, and what's this? 20? Which one has the aura? I guess we'll throw it at you. Wait, I kind of like the way of playing this. <laughs> Where we just kind of <laughs> let them do their thing and then take all of their stuff. Ready for this. Go ahead and burn for me, babe. Karlak is about to damage Karlak. That's so funny. Gale kept Karlak from taking damage from herself. Um, alright. You can't do anything. And then Briof. Briofita. Let's see. One, two, three. We're gonna be long resting after this anyway. So why not, you know? Well. Heck it, you know? Okay. Light at a level four, so we'll counterspell at a level four. Oh, it- oh, it makes me so mad that these are not in order. There's three. Six, five, four. Because I almost did a six counterspell on that, and that would have fucking sucked. Still on my feet. So they'll throw again. Uh, and let's go ahead and just do that. There. Nice. And then Astarian, you throw this one here. <laughs> uh. 
beautiful. Just absolutely, just a wonderful, wonderful time. What's so many here? things to loot in this room. No. No. I'll probably learn quickly that like, all of the ones that were dead before don't have anything on them. But in my mind, in my mind, there's gonna be one that they like hide something in. So I have to check them all. Arlac. Check out this lady. What about this guy? What about this guy? A lot of silver stuff. Need to find a way forward. God, the concussion grenades are so funny. Because you can literally just throw them back at the beginning of your turn. Uh, send a camp. Longbow plus one. It looks like Spell Thief, but I don't need it. I don't need either of them. Aw, wait. He was kind of cute. That sucks. A little twink. Can't believe he died. Oh, okay. Shadowheart's got some infernal iron now. <laughs> Whoopsies. I know that none of them are going to have anything on them. But on the off chance, one of them does. Andy, I think the quote Casey's talking about is I said someone put someone did a an attack on us when we first got here that makes you bow to them and so i said oh what the fuck he's got both me and my boyfriend on our knees something like that something around that that area carlac Infernal Spear. Uh, you can have it. You can keep it. I don't need it. Carlac's getting so much Infernal Iron. And for what? She's not going to be able to use it. That heart of hers ain't surviving forever till she goes back to hell. You hate to see it, honestly. <gasps> Lady Janath's body. Wait! Did Lady. No, Lord Janath is still. Uh, Lord Janath is dead. I thought Lady Janath died. Oh! If you do the two upgrades, there's nothing more you can do. Carla Casta. They didn't add anything for it, I don't think. Carlac's got to go back to uh, the infernal place. I can't remember what it's called. Oh. Lord Lady Ruth Linacker. She got nothing. Um, Starion. I will take these 100%. No traps, please. Absolutely love, love getting more arrows, more specialty arrows. Nothing. Okay. All right, we're in our loot era right now. We'll finish up in a sec. I think there might be more stuff Let's out here to this does. look at. That one's body. Oberyn's bodyguard. Oh, where does that go? Anywhere that we can go? Great sword plus one. We got a bunch of food to go to camp. I guess we can't use it's like a decorative door. Interesting. I know there's interesting dialogue if you take Carlac to the House of Hope because it's in Avernus. I would never. I would never. He deserves so much. 
I don't want to send her to Avernus before I have to, you know? This looks like... This looks like it would be a secret way to, like, get up here somehow. I don't know why. Okay. Um... We circled around. There's still... Still doors to open. Like, this is a room. Been over there. And then there's rooms behind this. Oh, it scares me that the... Oh! Where does that go? Oh! <gasps> What's- wait? Because it says it's over here. It must be passageways down. I'm nervous. Because I don't want to start this fight yet. I need to- <gasps> The light from the stained glass windows. Chill out. Chill out. That's beautiful. Okay, so it's definitely below us, wherever we are. Huh? Sorry, can you get these Hardly open? Challenge. Hardly challenge. You go around the outside to avoid all the traps. Ah, for the cheese, got it. Wait! Oh, hey! So you can just come in at the back of the throne room. You can just like hop over, ease your way up, climb the vines, and then you're here. Over there. That's kind of fun. I like that. Dang. Okay. Got it. All right, we fully looted everything. And by looted, I mean, there wasn't anything in anyone. Oh, these guys. Don't mind if I do. They might have something. Got a cool shield, which I'll take. And now he's encumbered, of course. We have Karlak with us, so we can offload a bunch of stuff. Let's do some quick little inventory management. Into Carlac. Wait. Put this on Carlac too. Put all of this on Carlac. Orphic hammers, two point seven. I'll keep that on him. He's fine now. The fact that Carlac can hold five hundred and forty is crazy. Crazy. Bonkers, even. She's got a backpack. She's got all of her soul coins. She's got all of her infernal iron, infernal metal. Probably doesn't need to carry this, but... Who's to say, you know? The Mystic Camp. Uh, the Mystic Gale. We don't need to do inventory management because we're pretty good right now. Okay. So now... This is the way we came in. The gloves give her even more capacity. Yeah, because of her strength. Which is crazy. Fast shovel, that's right. Okay. Um, we go out <laughs> and we long rest. All right, that should be good enough. Oh, since we're not in Baldur's Gate Upper City, we have a little camp now. Interesting. Just me and the boyfriend. Is that 
blood. No. Boyfriend, wait. I hope there's nothing troubling you, my dear. Well, now <laughs> there is nothing I'd like more. Every time we come to camp, I gotta, I gotta get a little kiss in. Alrighty. Let's see if this bug is still happening. Yay! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There it is. Oh! Okay. Never a dull moment. Weirdo. I just came back to hear me kiss perfect. Yeah, that's what that's what my boyfriend says. That's what my boyfriend Astarian says. <laughs> oh, okay. So we definitely are gonna do the Gortesh fight. Two thirty. We have until five. So two and a half hours. We for, we for sure can get through the Gortesh fight. What if we can beat the whole game within that amount of time? Imagine that. That'd actually be kind of crazy. Ugh. I've got to start weightlifting again. At least for like arms and legs. So, whole body. For hockey. Because Kat and I did like 20 minutes of shooting practice yesterday for the very first time. It's our first time ever using a hockey stick. And like the muscle right here. She's sore today. She's sore today, baby. Ow. All right. Who's getting off? Are you getting off in two and a half hours? Oh, uh, at 5 p.m. I have plans, so I won't be able to keep streaming. It technically plans are around like 6.30, but I want to have time to like take B out, eat some dinner, and then get ready um, to go do my plans. So we have two and a half hours of stream left today, and then tomorrow we're going to be finishing out the last like five, four and a half hours of finals week. Whether that means we're still playing Baldur's Gate or if we're switching over to a different game or if we're just gonna hang out, we definitely have lots of time left. We have seven hours to complete the game and right now, even though we have a bunch of other like side quests we can do, my plan is only to do Gortash's fight and then do the Elder Brain fight with uh, all of our allies that we've collected as well as grabbing um, uh, all of our allies we've collected and then using the Orphic Hammer and getting Orpheus on our side. So once we do Gortash's fight, we're going to switch off of Karlak and put Lazelle in the party. Because I know Karlak really needs to fight Gortash for her whole like journey to come to a close. And then uh, Lazelle has her whole thing with the Githyanki. So the Elder Brain fight will be with her, um, which will be nice. Okay, it is time to fight Gortash. It is time to put an end to this system of a down, I'm away. <laughs> taking back Sunday man. Oh, he died in a different way today. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
It's not this way, it's this way. Lucy, we're about to see... Your man. Oh. You know? That guy. We need to go up to confront Lord Gortash. All right. Best of luck, everybody. Oh, it's just you. Breva. Breva, babe, I'm really sorry to break this to you. But... Breva's not even paying attention. We're in the prison? We're supposed to be going upstairs, but we'll kill her real quick. We're definitely going the wrong way. Let's have a look. Yeah. Wormrock prison key. Can I say something so you can save time? I don't think we need to save time. I'm definitely not going to do this fight. I just wanted to see what would happen if we came down here. But like, what's your tip, Max? I was going to say you're on the wrong Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured that out pretty quickly. <laughs> I figured that one out by the fact that I was like, we're not supposed to be in the prison. Prisons aren't I'll upstairs. It's because if you look at the... Listen, I'm going to show you where my brain is at. On here, we have the one that goes on the side. And then the one here. On the right, it seems like defeat L Gortash. So I was like, oh, we'll go to the right passageway. That's where my brain was at. And they punked me. They tricked me. Hey, what's that? I'll just it's impossible. Help myself. We didn't even get the key Shall for that? We? That's crazy. Assassin, thank you so much for the sub. Can we get some hype in chat for our newest member of the Shark Tank? Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful one today. Hey. Very well then. It doesn't matter what we pick. Am I... Am I bald? We have to go in through here, don't we? We have to go in through the audience chamber. Weirdos. Whoever designed that, that specific Shouldn't little mark, they're sick! They're sick! They're sick, I tell you. I know it's somewhere around here. I remember seeing the little staircase. There it is. Moving ahead. Is it this? He's Louise, dude. And then we go in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Gail. Oh, Gail. Keep a blade close. Don't set these off, babe. That one's already set off, that one isn't. Okay, so we're fine. Go. Starion, I'm gonna have you lead, because it seems like Don't Yeah. Do. Exactly. Someone's left a trap out. Exactly, exactly. And there's gonna be another one over there. Garantit. Garant, allons-y. Technically, don't need to worry about it. Ooh, but there's a heavy chest in there. All right, just you. I'm sorry. Oh 
Someone's left to Everyone kill. else can wait. You're my sneaky boy. Exactly. Exactly, actually. Truly and honestly. This should work. Well, I didn't want you to jump. Oh dear. Like that. Someone's left to trap out for us. Can you get up here, please? Sir? What's wrong with your legs? You can do it, I believe in you. It's not worth it. We're already rich. We're already so rich. Can't give up now. Passage? Oh. Oh, it's just an enter. And he's gonna be like over here. Somewhere. Someone there. Quietly. Do I take these out or do I use them to our advantage again? We're gonna use them to our advantage. On my mind. We're gonna and use them. Well, I liked it. throwing the grenades, personally. Hey, who said that you could go that way? Grand Duke Etlin, the cockeyed stranger. We're gonna relax Alex Carrick. We do get rid of these though, just in case. Ready. Lucy, I'm so sorry. If you disarm it, it just incinerates. No one stopped me yet. So sorry, Gail. Best be on my way. My bad, little guy. I'll give you a short rest. I don't care. Oh, I need to thoroughly stuff my harem, and then we're good to go. Look at him. What do we have on Spotify right now? Whatever is the next song to pop up on Spotify is his theme song. Reinventing your exit by Under Oath. That's him. Um, I cast Hero's Fe Fe Feast. It's a level six spell for Brioff, which your HP increases. You can, you make wisdom saves with advantage. You can't be poisoned, diseased, or frightened until your next long rest. So I always cast this. I just burn my level six spell immediately, um, every day. Because it's very value. It's such a good spell. You can't like lose concentration on it. You can't lose it. Looking ahead. I want his robes real bad, though. And we're gonna get him. All right. Hello. Do I have this to... was your doing, That's wasn't it, Karlak? The destruction of my steel watch. Such a petty vengeance. Those things were evil. Just like their papa. To think I ever worked for you. <laughs> Proudly, too. I never meant to harm you, dear. Merely to help you realize your vast potential. You sent me to the hells. You let Zariel take my heart. As though any of it was yours to give away. 
the greater good, Karlak. Something I wouldn't expect you to understand. You feel no regret, do you? All right. How about fear, then? Oh, you do quite misunderstand. I've already made a deal with your companion. We need each other. Do we now? Never mind that, Gortash. We've heard all we need from the likes of you. You ought to reconsider. Divided, the Elder Brain will create an illithid army, yourself included in its ranks. Together, we can tame it. I'm sorry you feel wronged by how things ended between us all those years ago. Not but the gaslighting. Must look to the future. You make it sound like we were lovers. Or friends. But that wasn't it. I trusted you. I respected you. Get his ass. It was my job to protect you. And that's what I did. I was so young. I didn't recognize evil when I saw it. When you turned on me, I was too dumbstruck to realize what was happening. No way he'd hurt me, I thought. He betrayed me for reasons I still don't quite understand. But I suppose evil has no real cause. Get his ass. It just is. Fuck him up. Until Gale in the back. Isn't. You utter brat. You're going to burn this place down. Good. Say goodbye, Gortash. No, you have to stop her. Do it now. I'm not going to do any of that, actually. In fact, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? Is it the force curtain? You bitch. Can I magic missile that? Can you move forward, Gale? Can we magic missile that? Yeah, we can. That's gotta be the thing, right? Whatever, who cares? Not me, I don't care at all. Only a hit that deals at least 10 damage can damage it. Put him up. So Astarian's gonna have to be the one to hit that. Okay, cool, got it. Cry about it. Legend of Avernus, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm not sure why we just got celebratory music there, but. Um, all right, Gortash is gonna go, and then me, and then Astarian is just hanging out. I'm gonna have him go throw this at this guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, where is my boy at? He is not in the turn order. Hmm. This city is mine. You're not doing Oh, you did that to us though. That's crazy. And then We're gonna brace. And we're going to shoot one of these bad boys. To the death. 
And I'm gonna actually do something so drastic that it, it that it puts me on national television. Because what do you mean? No, it's okay. We don't need to reload. I know what to do now. I know what I'm gonna do. I know what the play is. I don't know what I don't know what his deal is. Hold on. Authority, dark devotion, dauntless. Innovating suffusion, high spell casting, magic resistance, opportunity attack, permanently armed, skintillating. Who told this man he was skintillating? Not me, that's for sure. I'm about to moonbeam his ass. Get got, get moonbeamed, bitch. Cut to the chase. You're almost dead. You should. Thank you. I didn't want to be the one to say it. Did we get any grenades? Oh man. I was going to throw a grenade up there. I was going to nade it. I'm not entirely certain how I should blast this. Because everything I have is piercing damage. Unless I... Unless I firebolt it, what's it got immunity to? Fire immunity. Cold resistance, piercing resistance, bludgeoning vulnerability, lightning vulnerability. Hey, baby! Do you think that would hit both of them? I don't want to force lightning then. Well. Within 18 meters. Do you think that's within it? I don't think it is. I'm gonna witch bolt it. That's what I wanted, babe. We just need to get one more of those down. Ready for another round. Oh, Carlac. We're gonna kill this guy though. And then we have to wait because he's currently protected. And the shell of resistance does exactly what? Immunity to thunder, resistance to physical and elemental, and extra bonus action, three meter movement speed when he's in six meter of the curtain. Does that mean we could still hit him though? We can still hit him, which is great. I'll take it. You chose to stop up. Why didn't he get moonbeamed there? That's crazy. Um. Can you chill out, actually? Like, just be chill for a quick second. That's crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> just, just, you know, take a breather. Is that Gale? <laughs> so, he's in his little He's in his little avatar of tyranny. Ooh, I'm so threatened. Um, that, this is your man? Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> that is so funny to me. He's just gonna screech? That's crazy. Is 
Can he be frightened? Vulnerable to elemental damage for one turn. Vulnerable to elemental damage. Like, that one's gonna give us our highest attack if we can, like, really, really hit with it. This man's almost dead. Beat his ass. Beat him up. 22? I don't fancy their chances. A 12% chance of hitting? What else we got over here? My boy? I want to end this man's life. In a way he won't be coming back from. Let's just try it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Applause, please. <laughs> Why were Orin and Gortash so easy to fight? We've had harder fights in this game on this difficulty. Zoe, thank you so much for the 11 month resub. Welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful one. <laughs> I'm in my V3 era. We are too. We are too. You can sense she's working something out. Say nothing. I feel like there should be a sunset for me to ride off into. Or an orchestral swell or something. But there's nothing, is there? I killed the bastard who ruined my life, and my prize is that I get to crawl into a corner and die. Am I fucking missing something? Babe. I feel like I should say nothing, right? No, Catherick's fight was so hard. And for, like, what reason? I, sh I should say nothing and kind of, like, let her work it out, right? Or... This is all a lot to take in. It's no wonder you're overwhelmed. I'm beyond overwhelmed. I'm... I'm finished. Babe. Babe. <sighs> he's dead. And he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before. Catherick took like several tries to kill. Point? I'm still dying. I'm dying. I'm going to die. Babe. But you're not dead yet. I'm here with you, and I will be until the very end. Don't say that. Oh, fuck. So you found some way to fix me. But now Gortash is dead, I'll get my heart back. Whoops. My heart. It was mine. And they took it. I'm going to be as dead as Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what then? Off to the City of Judgment to waste into oblivion? Into the dirt to get eaten by maggots? Is that it for me? Is that fucking all? And you, you'll just keep going, won't you? Mm. Watching the stars, warming your hands on the campfire, dancing, eating, making fucking love all night. All of it, all of it! That's my reward for everything I suffered. That's why I survived ten years of torment. The fighting, the clawing, the loneliness. <laughs> the fucking loneliness. All of it. So I could rot because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil. Baby girl, <laughs> baby girl. It isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want it like this. I want to hug her. But 
let it out. It's about time. Is the it's about time. See, this is the subtle way that they fuck you over. Is it's about time, like it's about time that you are able to let this out, or it's about time, meaning you're about to die. Because I also don't like option one. I'd do anything to change it, but I just can't. We might scum save this and see which one's the better one. Let it out. It's about time. I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to stay. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I don't like any of these. Live for as long as you can. You do it. I'm tired. Nope. Nope, we gotta get one where she's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Not an option where she goes, I'm tired. Fuck. I should install that mod. I would do anything to change it, but I just can't. You could try. You got a wish spell in that pack of yours. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I don't know, but whatever it is, I think we're meant to do it together. Let's get out of here. I've always hated this place. Stupid fucking gigantic bridge or whatever. I think I need to go to camp for a while. Be alone. Scream at the sky. You can come and find me later if you want to. Thanks for listening. For existing. <laughs> Love you. Can I say it back? Can I say it back? No! You let me say it back right now! You let me talk to her! You bitch! They won't let me hug her right now. They won't let me say it back to her. I'm going to scream. I'm, I'm gonna lose it. This armor, this armor in pink, netherstone studded gauntlet. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four force damage. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save. Is that where his netherstone is? Lord G. Yeah, necessary. I could get you back in the house oh, for the right price, of course. Though I doubt they'd be happy to see you again. You didn't exactly leave on the best of terms. However, you know your business better than I or anyone else. Hell sick. Portash's key. Tyrannical jackboots. You know, if you're wearing clothing that is described as tyrannical, maybe you should look in the mirror and consider some things about yourself because that's fucking insane. Gortash's reflecto guard applies a condition that reflects all incoming projectiles back at their source. Grant nearby steel watches an additional action. Well, that's, we'll send that to camp. That's not gonna have any use. We got all the nether stones. Brian! Help! Someone help. You're limited on so much if you don't romance Carlac. I know. It sucks. Have 
done very well indeed. The Nether Stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The thrum quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprisoned the brain. So how do we get to the morphic pool? Oh my god, look at my little... My pool boy and my male wife. And the Emperor thinks that I would have ever chosen him? That's crazy. The same way one gets to the bounds of anything. The sewers. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain and we will end this. In death, thraldom, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Um... Finish your business here before you proceed. The Brain will be waiting for us. So... Hold on. Um... Quick question. Is he implying that if you want to get into the bowels of a person you can crawl up into their into their asshole through the sewer. Is he implying that he's done that before? If you want to get to the bowels of anything, you go through the sewers. How many bowels are you crawling into? Because that's fucking gross. You're sick. You're a sick man. Give that to Gail. This is gonna look so good in pink, but we don't have any pink dye. He has a lot of tentacles, right? <laughs> Hi, Chody. Chody, how have you been? Journal of Inver Gortash. Oh. I knew it would be risky to give one of the nether stones to that loose catapult Orin. But when I look in her eyes, I feel something. Though I'm not sure what to call it. And after all, What's the point of a grand alliance of the dead three without old ball? <laughs> I thought I could depend on the age stump Ketherick. However, it never even occurred to me. He could be brought down by a random collection of shabby adventurers. Obviously, possession of the weapon was a key element, but do the vagabonds possess the weapon or does the weapon possess them? It's just as the great sages say. A plan will take you only so far, and then you have to fall back on principles. And in as much as control is, is the guiding principle of the con <laughs> committed Banite, it's axiomatic that it must be in control of all three nether stones. The solution is obvious. Pit the vagabonds against the loose catapult, and once they bring me to the other two nether, nether stones, we'll find suitable positions for them in the new order to follow. Not the Illithid's grand design, of course, but the golden reign of Gortash. Yeah. That has a nice ring to it. Then we shall deal with our naughty absolute brain. I hate that he used the word naughty. And it's growing propensity to throw the petulant psionic tantrums. It's no accident I chose to place it in a doomed cavern beneath the upper city. The location is perfectly formed to concentrate the psychic force of the nether stones. Concentrate it to such a degree that not even our netherese enhanced brain will be able to resist my commands. Once I control all three nether stones naturally, and the sooner the better. <laughs> this is the way I should have done this. That's what he was singing to himself, fine. hyping himself up to fight Karlak. He woke up this morning <laughs> and put on the Under Oath album. To hype himself up, thinking that he was gonna get all the nether stones today. God. What a silly guy. Something good here, right? Can I say something? Was he? Let's hear it. Oh, we have the hell dusk boots. You cannot be forcibly moved by foes' spells or actions, and you ignore the effects of difficult terrain. When you fail a saving throw, you may use your reaction to succeed instead. I'm gonna give that to Karlak. Give that to myself.
He is Jason Isaacs, Lizzie. But he looks and acts like he does in this game. And I think... I think we just gotta sit back and... and understand that, okay? Mika, yes or no on having Gale in my playthrough? Xander... I know I'm like Gale's number one hater. But he's also like... Having a wizard on your squad... He has saved us multiple times. Gale in combat? Great. Gale when he just talks normally? <laughs> Gale when he exists outside of combat? You know what I mean? <laughs> Ace and Isaacs makes Gortash even more worth it. More than worth it? Hey, Lucy. We got a backup. He didn't even have a statue of himself up here. That's crazy. Whew. All right, I need to go. I need to go piss girl just super, super quick. But I'll send us to camp. I'll put on some music. I'm going to do a BRB. I need to get more water as well. So uh, quick BRB. Maybe we fight Elder Brain and complete the game today. Who knows? Let's see. Let's see how we do this. <laughs> Who fucking knows? It'd be great if we could beat this game in two hours.
Chody? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Taking back shots Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> With my Soylent variety pack, today is strawberry day. Let's go. <laughs> Not the what. Taking back shots Sunday is a great... I'm only gonna call them that now. Because I know it would piss off Adam Lazara so bad. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. We should definitely long rest. Um, let's see if anyone needs anything while we're here. They're probably, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There she is. I have a lot on my mind. Girlfriend needs something. Hey, soldier. You're back. Hey. I've been worried about you. Are you all right? Yeah, despite my best efforts. I kept trying to flop over and give up, but Carla just won't let me. Did I miss anything important? We can talk about that later. I'm more concerned about you. Would you believe it if I said I'm all right? You know, soldier, no. We're so no. Fucked. The dark three are trying to consume the. Who am I in us. a relationship with? Astarian, Paulson. And I've got a ticking time bomb in my chest. I'm not sure anyone has ever been more fucked than this. And yet, we're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am. There you are, breathing, talking, even laughing if we want. Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm... What the heck? Happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. Ah, oh, but I really want to say four as well. This is all well and good, but I can't pretend there isn't a solution here. You could go back to Avernus and leave. Because mm. I don't want to piss her off again. No. I can't. I'd rather die here in Faerun, my home then live in service to a devil. It wouldn't have to be forever. Just long enough for us to figure out a way to fix your engine. I've considered it. Believe me, I have. But it would take Zariel all of a minute to suss me out and force me back into the blood war. I can't do it anymore. I'd wish for death every day. Let me go out surrounded by things I love, not things I hate. <laughs> Speaking of which... Bars. There's something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me when it's time for me to go? I'm done. I think I can do anything if you're there. I'm done. I'm done. I can't Never be here. Die. I'm gonna be sick, man. This is twisted. This is so twisted. Of course I'll be there, Korlak. Whatever you want. Thank you. No, I can't, I can't do that. Enough tragedy. I'm not gone yet. And our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry anymore, I'm gonna run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. Thanks for everything, soldier. I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited to be in a part of this with you. Fuck you. What the heck? All right, Liz. Join the squad. It's your turn. Karlak's fate may be written, but her story isn't ended. The histories of the greatest Githyanki warriors are recorded in Slate. Oh. They are unerasable. She must make every battle her bloodiest yet. She must make herself unerasable too. Hey, 
Lazel, what about this disc from Moonrise Towers? Once again, your mind opens to Lazel, and she considers the disc. More writings on Orpheus. Ah. Uh. The, prin the prince. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got it. We got it. It is done. <laughs> we got it, Lazel. We got it. We understand. <laughs> um. We haven't slept yet. But I want to see what Halson's going to say about Karlak. Karlak has had her mortality defined to her in most cruel terms. I do not know if we can help her, but perhaps we can at least be there for her. Okay. All right, cool. What cat is meowing at us? Is it Arabella's cat? It's probably Grub. Probably Grub. Okay. Uh, what's Astarian gonna say about Karlak? I'm still thinking about Karlak. About what she said. Cots. There really is no justice in the world. Shut up. Compare that to Astarian in the beginning of the game when he's like, I don't give a fuck about anyone. I don't care about you. I don't care about anyone. I just want to sink my teeth into someone's neck. And now he's like, I can't stop thinking about Karlak. It's so sad. Karlak has precious little time left to her. Would do better than to waste it. Okay. Anyone else got anything to say before we go and do the last day? Bars. Bars. We'll rest. Can Gail put his titties away? Sorry, he's our pool boy. He's not allowed to wear a shirt. Clark, we might be finishing. We have an hour and 40 minutes and we might be able to do the whole Elder Brain fight right now. Who's to say? Who's really to say? What are you doing? What are you barking at? You wanna come up and say hi? Come here. Come up here. You gotta come say hi. I'm not- okay, I won't pay attention to you. You can see her under the timer. I'm gonna see if she'll jump up here. I just can't- if I don't pay- there it is. I know you. I know you so much. I know you like the back of my hand. I know exactly how your brain works. Miss Ma'am. How are you? Do you want to say hi to everybody? Do you want to get up here? Do you want to like fully get up here? We can have a little bit of time together. There you go. Why do you get so shy on camera? Clark has seen how you act. You can't lie to everybody. You literally jump up and try to jump off of people's torsos. Oh, little noodle. Little noodle. Don't lick me. Oh, she's so sleepy. Oh, she's so eepy. Oh, what an eepy little baby. She's, I'm just a little baby. I'm just a little baby. That's you. You're Fred Armisen. I'm just a little baby. I, I don't have no money. I'm just a little baby. Oh, honey. 
You're going to fall off the chair if you lean back anymore. Okay. Why are you hiding from the camera? Look over there. Look over there. Why do you look like you're in trouble? <laughs> Just a little baby. You can go. You don't have to stay up here. Go ahead. She's doing her little guilty face as if she like threw up somewhere. Cause she she has like I think she has like acid reflex or something because she'll throw up every now and then just randomly and the vet's like yeah it happens some dogs just do that and she's doing her guilty look like she threw up somewhere but she hasn't yeah i'm talking about you and your little in your fun little quirks little lady Well, you'll find it. Oh, no. It's... It would be very obvious if she did throw up somewhere. She's only in this room right now. Maybe she dreamt that she threw up. True. It, it will always... I know other dog owners can relate to this. But the panicked feeling of waking up when you hear your dog start doing the, like, hmm, 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 even cats. The heaving... And the panic, like, you shoot out of bed and you're like, where are you? I have to get you off of carpet right now. Yeah. <laughs> she might have bilious, uh, bilious, bilious, bilious vomiting, vomiting syndrome. Their stomach gets too much acid between meals. That's probably what she has, honestly. Because it always happens in between meals. Cat owner, but yeah. She's about to throw up. Oh no. Beep, come this way. <laughs> oh. I got it just in time. Let's go, baby. Honey bee, come on, let's go. I called it. How did I call it? I knew you were acting weird. I called it. I knew you like the back of my hand. We got it. We got it, little lady. I knew. I knew it. And now you feel a little bit better, huh? You okay? <laughs> yeah, a little burp. That was nice. Okay, Miss Ma'am. Look at her little legs. Oh. Okay, go ahead. God. How frequently does she eat? She's not food motivated at all. Um, I finally found food that she'll finally, finally, finally. I finally found a food um, that she will eat uh, full meals of. I've gone through so many different brands and like so many different flavors of food that she will like pick at or just kind of like move around and it will take her so long to finish a full like bowl of food. But we finally found a brand that she likes and that she eats um, all of her meals with. But she's not food motivated like she won't eat a full bowl at one time. Um, I know that there are dogs that are vacuums, that the moment you put food in front of them, they eat it. But with her, she, like, 
I give her her food. I fill up her bowl right before bed and she'll usually eat throughout the night, just like five minutes at a time. She'll go and eat a little bit and then she'll do that throughout the day. And then the bowl's empty by the next nighttime. But like, she loves treats. She just doesn't really like eating meals, you know? Am I right? You, you're so weird. You have so many weird little quirks. But you're my little weirdo. Okay. Whew. That was fun. <laughs> She's a snack queen, yeah. She's a girl dinner dog. All right. Well, we know where we need to go now. Um, before we go anywhere, let's feast it up. Thoroughly stuff ourselves. And now we go. My bee is insane with food. That's gotta be tough with her getting upset tummies like that. Yeah. She, it doesn't, like, she hasn't thrown up. Some days it'll be like every day she'll do it in the morning. And like the vet has said, it's kind of normal. Um, sometimes she'll do it if she gets a little too anxious because she is an anxious dog. Uh, you okay? You're burping a lot, but you're fine. You seem a little more perky now. Yeah, morning upsets her. So the reason that... Uh, hold on. I'll wait for the Elder Brain to stop talking before I finish this train of thought. Are we done? Cool. Um, so the reason that she throws up in the morning a lot, I think is anxiety, is um, she's really good at getting in her kennel and like staying in her kennel. And she doesn't like panic when she's in there. She doesn't like try to get out. She just goes, she'll go into her kennel when I say kennel and just lay there and wait. Um, so she's like perfectly fine kennel trained, but she does get anxious, uh, like, calmly anxious about being left alone and it's a combination of when I was boxing training and every single morning I would be leaving for three hours uh and now I'm doing hockey training and leaving for three hours every morning um she just in the morning she'll get anxious um and throw up because of that I think it's I don't have, like, proof that it's anxiety causing it, but I've always thought it's just because she's anxious. And she's not food motivated, so it's also, like, her empty stomach and uh, anxiety. So she has a little bit of a little upset tummy girl throw up in the morning. But she hasn't done it in quite some time. She's getting better at it. Um... This was like the first time in three days. She threw up in the living room like four days ago. And my spot cleaner vacuum gets a lot of work out. <laughs> but that's just my little girl. That's my little dog. I'm sorry, why are the mind flayers dying over here? Did these people turn into mind flayers? We might have missed that. You know our cat used to do that in the morning too. We thought it was him eating too fast, but I was never sure. Um, with B, it's probably like a bile thing because her throw up is always just like kind of stomach acid stuff. It's never from food. So she probably has that condition that Crafty uh, mentioned. Our cat used to do that in the morning. Um, my cat has anxiety and nervous system issues and every time he sees me get ready to go, he'll get under the bed, pop his little head out and look sorrowful. Yeah. B can tell when I'm about to go uh, like leave for hockey training because I put on 
long socks instead of like my ankle socks that I just usually wear for shoes. I'll put on my long thin socks and when she sees me put on socks that go up to my knee, she just, her head gets low. She's very smart. She's very perceptive. And so then uh, all I have to do is walk over to the office door and she'll go put herself in her kennel. And she's very sweet. She's a very good girl. My dog went through a not eating phase and got treated for Giardia on Ultimate, but I did learn the process of rolling stuff out. They can get acid reflux. Yeah. I'll probably, on her next vet visit, ask them if they can like check her out for stuff to see if like she has an aversion to a certain food. Cause some foods, she'll like eat a lot of one flavor, but then another flavor she just will not touch at all. And that might just be a preference thing with her. Anyway. Where, do we go this way for the elder brain thing, right? Time to go to the morphic pool and face the elder brain. We should head to the... Oh. Open up. Oh, I see. D-Man, thank you for gifting a sub to Laura. Laura, welcome. Welcome back to the Shark Tank? I believe you've had a sub before, but welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful one. D-Man, thank you again for the uh, gift sub. Hope you're both having a great day today. Why are these guys naked? Like, fully naked. And this guy's like crouched inside of one. They're, they're going through it. Oh, I'll take, thank you. So here's the question. If we take more of these, does it fuck us up? Because that's the whole reason I haven't been spinning my illithids. It doesn't fuck us up, so I can get more of these. It's just when I go like... <laughs> Max, I was like, why is Max so... Hold on. Ability drain. Stage fright. Healing. Invest a creature with power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable to all damage. Psionic backlash. Horse tunnel. Displace. Repulsor. Charm. Might as well. We only have a certain amount of time to use all this stuff. Ability drain. Do ability drain. Oh, look at all the gray matter in our brain. <laughs> Yay! We have so much stuff to look at. <laughs> Great. So we go down to the sewers. And then we go that way. Ugh. We probably should go to the Temple of Ball and go up. There isn't all that many downsides to the powers. The only downside I worry about is like the special illithid power that you can take at some point that then like makes your face decay a little bit. And I love my character so much, I I can't fathom fucking up her face, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we go up and around once we hit the blood. We go this way. There's a mob that removes it. Yeah, but it's just like the whole idea of it. Because you might be able to remove it with the mod, but I feel like the characters would still comment on it. Uh, 
All right, through this way. I suppose. If I do a Dark Urge run, I would definitely do, uh, like, full commit to all of the Illithid powers. It just feels like it would fit. Is there gonna be a fight going into this, or... What's in here? Are they just gonna kinda, like, let me Queen take my walk? They one in is near. We must be close to its Oh, cranium rats! Hi! Hi, little guys! How are you? Wowie! Oh! A solitary rat may be trivial, but a swarm is dangerous. They're not gonna attack me. We're friends. We're, we're pals. This is so scary to do. Because this is like the point of no return. Ah! Ah! Do we want to go to the morphic pool? I'm scared. I'm so scared. There is no turning back. Meet the morphic pool at Embers. <laughs> yeah. What about Minsk? Bye, Minsk. Matt Mercer, bye. We'll get you another playthrough. Pristine darkness in every direction. We met Minsk, but the Absolute stole him away. They gaslit him. Casey, I think it's because you use like eight periods or or Science, like fifteen. But for the gentle rhythmic slap. Water on and stream elements does not like it through. when you trail off a sentence does not like it yeah we have our gale playthrough or we have to romance gale I'm scared. Am I the only one rowing? Imagine we just died. <laughs> Gales of Virgo? I'm a Virgo. Gail is a September Virgo. I'm an August Virgo. <laughs> the game just ends there. That'd be incredible. Andy. <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> August Virgos rise. Down with the September Virgos. <laughs> An overwhelming force pushes into your mind. <laughs> Yeah, right. We could swim this whole time. Half the mod team are Virgos. The funniest part about that is that half the mod team are Virgos and I'm pretty sure half the mod team is diagnosed undiagnosed autism as well <laughs> I still remember the day that Drac implied that Drac, Drac thought was like oh yeah that's just your autism Mika and I was like I'm not I, I'm not diagnosed with autism did y'all think that I had autism? And Tate immediately was like, yeah, I thought you had autism. Like, full stop, I thought you had autism. <laughs> I was like, okay. I mean, I've suspected it myself. It's, a, it's my superpower, hidden superpower. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think I do, but not diagnosed. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I think I just got like a friend referral. <laughs> 99% autistic. <laughs> we all just gravitated toward each other. Me and the mods. That's what it was. <laughs> I, an autistic person, thought you were. I'm getting so many friend referrals right now. I'm getting peer reviewed. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay. Uh, we, we climb. Why did that highlight? What was that? Something highlighted over here. That was weird. I have to keep going. I, an autistic person, also thought you were. Mods, can we get a poll up? <laughs> can we get the community to peer review me right now? gonna cry. I mean, this is so funny. I'll be like, yeah, I did get diagnosed by autism, for autism. Um, my entire community thought that I was. So that's my diagnosis. Headless corpse, headless corpse. Oh, are all these brains popping out of these guys? It has to be. Why is he gonna talk like that sometimes? It's so... Okay, we got a lot of little brain boys running around. Dominated. The council. Me when I'm mind broken. Where? Where? Don't touch me. Where? Is the trap that we're about to get ambushed? This is so gross. What did I say? What did I say? There's four there. Five here. Five there. Let's do these five, yeah? Are they resistant to anything? To piercing. Okay. You got it then. I like using cold. My iron is hot. <laughs> Let's have some Tell him, honey. Tell him. Let's get this guy. And then let's get this guy. Where are they coming from? What the hell? That's crazy. That's crazy. Poison a target and afflict them with a disease of your choice. Might be fun. Oh. Is there a trick to this? Because they're all just like popping out of the ground. Do I just have to kill all of them at once? Or... Out. 
Did they all die? Nice. Nice. Um, I don't want to use superiority dice. And that's what all these are going to do. Unless it's going to give me a ranged... Nope, they're all melee. Okay. Come this way! Oh, you're smart. You're a smart one. But are you all smart? That's the question. Doesn't look like it. Nope. In fact, you're not. In fact, you're not. Two of you were smart. Two of you were smart. And then three off. Can't stay idle. Go shillelagh. And then uh, hit. Okay, no, it's fine. What do the big guys have? The gluttons. Anything of do they have anything in them? They just have cerebellums. At the ready. Okay. Little brain boys are back. Yeah. Little guys. What is it that you're immune to? You're immune to slashing. Can we bludgeon somehow? I don't think anyone has a bludgeoning weapon. Gale? You have my attention. Bond. Gale, get in there, bud. It's gonna take a little bit. Oh. Hmm. Oh, Gale. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, old pal. Oh, buddy, old pal. Yeah, we're not doing this one. If we had Karlak, we would. But unfortunately, we don't. We're taking our little lazy with us. Let's all make this jump, okay? Oh, you scared me. Come on, sweet guy. Thanks. Do I just have to find the brain myself? It does look like it stinks down here. Like, just smells like ass. We are in the sewers, though, so... Droralius? Drycellus. Nothing. Step quick. Oh, it's... Is it gonna come out of there? That looks like a dead end. I think we have to go back this way. Light on my feet. This is the correct way to go this way? Am I about to get into a fight with the Elder Brain? Because I'm scared. Design. Execute. Design. 
No, not yet. It triggers a cutscene here. Hit me with it. Hit me with it, I guess. Sure. Deathly silence. The air is stale and putrid. It's close. Have the stones ready. Your blood slows. Your senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant. Saves coming? Ah! Oh, it's a fidget spinner. The elder brain has ADHD. We can defeat it with a fidget spinner. That's crazy. It's a neurodivergent brain. You think you know why you are here? You think that by killing the Chosen and taking the Nether Stones, you can destroy me? Yeah. You are wrong. Okay. Gail being basically naked from behind is hilarious. Hey, that hurt me. Ooh. Watch me fidget spin. Intelligence. Constant. Oh, we've got to do constitution. Nope. <laughs> no. 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 Uh-uh. I'm not letting that be our reality. I could take a loss. I can't take a crit. Fail. <laughs> I I can take a loss. Are we supposed to be able to f fight this? Get his ass. Orin and Gortash, you have simply unbound me. Okay. Exactly as I intended. Ooh. The crown is now mine to command. Mine alone. Don't listen to it. Focus on the crown. Shut up, dude. No one cares about you. Dex, wisdom, charisma. Wisdom, we get a plus three. Why did you ban CJ for saying shut up? <laughs> exactly as I intended. The crown is now mine to command. Mine alone. Don't listen to it. Focus on the crown. Listen, statistically, we should be able to get it. We've used all of our inspiration. The is not my weakness. <laughs> it is what made me what I am. 
I, need I know that these checks are just going to get harder and harder because it went from I 20 to 25. To bring them to me. They would not have surrendered it freely, so I gave them what they wanted. Power. Just enough that they would play their part in my design. Their part has ended. The next orders will be mine. I won't allow it. Again, dominate it. What did I, what did I say? I can't even make that re-rolling. What did I tell you? I need a nat 20, but we would be re-rolling for an hour. Who do you think planted the knowledge of Orpheus's power and the fear of what it could do? When the Chosen sent my thralls to retrieve the prison, who do you think let the Emperor slip its leash, knowing it would be the one to bring you to me? Were you a part of its plan? <gasps> I only needed one Netherstone loosened from the Chosen's grasp to guarantee my freedom. Okay. You brought all three back to me. In doing so, you have liberated me. This was your role. And it is complete. Woo! Now you will I did it! The grand design. I did it! I can't afford to let that happen. We're wisdoming. Imagine we get a nat 20. We just kind of have to take a loss here because we'll take a win later. It's in the car, it's in the play, it's in the grand scheme. I got a nat 20 there, and let me tell you, it doesn't change a ton. Oh, great, cool. <laughs> it just gives you a buff. Oh, sick. That's my boy. This is not over. Yay. Whoa. Yay. It's that guy. <laughs> Yay. Ah, a brain. It's wild that the the big boss of this game is a brain when the brain is like the most fragile organ we have in our body. Where like we have a skull to protect the brain and the brain can hit the skull a little too hard and get got. be a better organ for a final boss I would
would say a tongue. Because I think... Damn, sucks to be those guys. I think tongues heal fastest of all organs. Or a liver. Although... You could probably kill a liver, like an elder liver, by just like splashing it with alcohol for an extended amount of time. Uh, uteruses are pretty good. That'd be that'd be a good one. I pulled you out just in time. The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain, no longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to I've had beef tongue evolve. before. Beef tongue is good. Hey, can you let me go? Can I can stand on my own. It has become something more. A nether brain. Have you not been reading captions, my guy? It literally is called the nether brain in captions. We've seen this for hours now. Is the emperor guy the guy you kiss, who kissed you in the very beginning of the game and killed you? Yeah, when we did that, like, scum save, I just want to see what happens. Mm-hmm. I thought the nether stones were supposed to allow us to dominate the brain. Um... Did you expect this? I was as surprised as you were. Were you, though? It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. Oh, it was a different dude. We're talking about the dude in the ship. I remember that. Yeah. Where'd he go? I gotta go in there? Wait, where did he go, actually? I did not listen to a word he said. We need to rethink our plan. Not him levitating away from us. With haste. Bessie, we can't do that. We're not that guy, pal. Oh, man. for them is there just a wine okay no for sure for sure hey where am i supposed to go am i supposed to jump to that one? Oh, that's right i can jump super far in this world i forgot <clears throat> it's the way that they fucking fly dude Go! Go, besties, go! Come on. Dramatic. Dramatic boy. He is in here, right? Or... Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Orpheus! I'm like Orpheus! Your name is like a melody. Hi, Or. Hi, Or. I have assessed our, our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle. I know why we failed. Why are we scared? Why do we have to save scum this? The problem was not the stones. What's about to happen to us? The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. No, I've seen Scott Pilgrim do this before. It, you would have to think like an elite. He outmaneuvered a vegan. Yet, I could one. do this. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine 
is. Can you imagine how funny it would be to outsmart the elder brain by being like? Obvious, and then I will be able to think again with Chacho. I thought real brain. hard about putting soy milk in that one. Assimilate him. What do you mean? No. You just drink half and half, bitch. Him. Do not stand against me. There is another way. We will free Orpheus. You still don't trust me. After all we've been through. Remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid. Prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since. At no small cost to myself. Gail's tattoo makes him look like Iron Man. I came to you as a leader. <laughs> but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not about recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you, not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy, the same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential, all while protecting you from harm. What's funniest about this is that now I ask you for the Lazo. last time <laughs> to trust me. Lazelle and Astarian Release are covered in blood. Gale is squeaky clean. Do not forget, there's a card yet to come into play. The orb. If we do not want to surrender the stones, we can still use it to ensure the brain's destruction. Along with my own. You know, I was sitting here being like, this is a risk we cannot take. I don't want to sacrifice Your Gale because he seems to want to live. Now. You failed before. I cannot trust that you will not fail again. But if he offers, I'm not going to say no. Hand me the stones. <laughs> if our pool boy wants to ascend, God bless. Enough. Oh, I like. Why should I trust you? You withheld information from me at every turn. It is true that I withheld reality. I showed Orpheus and his guards as evil beings. And I appeared to you in the form of someone you would trust. We someone kill the Elder Brain mind flayer. by touching the G-spot. A mind flayer. Illusion is my language. I'm just saying. Just as words and actions are yours. Do not judge me for being true to myself. No, Skywalker, the wildest thing is that the orb detonation is a cantrip. A cantrip. And it's just listed among your other cantrips. You could hit it at any time. Enough. I have the hammer. Orpheus will be free. I told you we have to trust one another. Great, but I can form my own opinion, I told you bitch. If Yankee would only want to kill you for what you I'm are. literally in love with Lazel. Still, you <laughs> choose to break our alliance. Even united. The Netherbrain was going to be an impossible enemy. But apart, we have no chance of survival. Very well. Since you will not work with me, you work If you are not me. with me, then you are my enemy! You leave me no option. Only Sith deal in absolutes. The Nether brain. I will do what I must. You will try. Free I doubt we'll get much in the way of gratitude. Ah, Gail, I really don't need to hear that from you right now. We have Gortash's hand. Oh, it's because we took the gauntlet. And we just, we just, oh. Oh, goody, oh, goody. <laughs> um, hammer. You have the hammer. I want you to give it to Brioff. Brioff is gonna use it. Seems simple enough. Seems super simple, actually. Oh, I should have talked to Lazel. His eyes are unseeing, his voice silenced. But even with his mind caged, you can feel his power. Come on, Orf. Alright, Lazel, let me talk to you now, girl. The gate is gone. 
Our mission is set. You're so right, girl. Smash the crystals with the hammer and free the prince of the comet. Gith's beloved son will lead us to a sure victory against the Netherbrain. You're so right. I'm Orpheus. I should have saved before I destroyed one of them, but now we just hope that this guy doesn't want to kill us, so... Come home with me. The man who's gonna murder you. I'm Orpheus. A silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've Kinda looks like she's vibing with it though. Of Elithid, you took advantage of my powers, and you slaughtered my honor guard. To be fair, they attacked me first. Nonetheless, <laughs> it seems we must be allies. Your Majesty, the Prince of the Comet gets true heir. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Elithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. The Emperor held all the cards until now. I freed you at the first opportunity. That is false. You I had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. And then you would have still been locked up, Any but the individual destined to become cake would have done so. My guard would have freed me, and I would have stopped the elder brain before it evolved into a nether brain. All that suffering avoidable were it not for the choices you made. You went through a lot, so I'll ignore that. Play. <laughs> While we bicker, the nether brain is executing the grand design. We need to stop it. In this, we are aligned. I love the. I you went through a lot, so I'm gonna ignore everything you just said. Um. <laughs> we will destroy the nether brain together. And put a stop to this nascent empire before it expands into the stars. The Gake was correct about one thing. The Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Elithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. So is he implying that thoughts are the most impenetrable source in this world? Someone will need to turn into a mind flayer. Are you willing to do that? Just as I was free. I will do it. I'm not turning into a mind flayer. I gotta I kiss Astarian for the rest of time. Illithid. I gotta I kiss my boyfriend, my so... My people. I will end the grand design. <laughs> my prince, you can... This is not your burden to bear. You are a true hero. The nether brain will be only too pleased. We're literally in the end game right now, Sky, so yes. My prince, no! Even in my darkest hours, I knew it was my destiny to save my people. Whoa. I could never have imagined this His eyes. would be the way. Give Kartav Keem crushed. Ah! Damn, he did that so quick. I gotta give props to Orpheus. He literally was like, being a geek is the worst thing in the entire world. And then we said, are you okay with doing that though? And he went, yeah, you know what? I'll do it. <laughs> and did it. No hesitation. A 
imagine he turned against us now and was just like, actually. These. <laughs> actually, you know what? Let us seek out the nether brain and finish this. Okay, Orpy. Once the grand design is ended, kill me. It is the very least you can do. Are you gonna fight me on that, or do you want me to give you a little schwink schwank, you know? Come. A little shoop to shoop. It's time for us to meet our fates and end this illicit nightmare. Ooh. No rest for the wicked, I see. Did we get full rested at some point? I'm I'm not gonna complain. Can I spoil a decision about the Illithid transformation? Sure, yeah. Let's go. There's partly there's a party member that would highly benefit from turning into an elephant. Carlac? If Carlac turns into an elephant, does that mean she doesn't have to go? Interesting. But I wouldn't want her to be an elephant cuz she would just like lose who she was, you know? Once a beacon of promise, of wisdom, of celebration. Now, it's a nice well, ending for her. It's just a beacon. But you know, like mm, for all manner of horrors. That makes me sad to think about. And pity. How do you feel about using the orb if all else fails? I'd need a ream of parchment longer than an elder brain's stem to catch you the tumult I feel at that particular prospect. But I'm ready, if that's the word you need to hear. If you call on me, I will not let you down. And yet it is. Orpheus took this form so he we could defeat the Elder Brain. Mm. That's no way to talk to your prince. Then I like it's that. True. Orpheus, my prince. Oh, he what thought that was. Oh, okay. The design must be ended. A sacrifice had to be made. The duty fell to me. I am not long for this world, or any other. What of Vlakith? What of our liberty? You underestimate He thought it was the, uh, what's it called? The... Their imagination oh, said professor. The name Orpheus, alive for millennia. <laughs> I'm only gonna call him Professor Bring from now on. My message. Oh, Tell lay. My fate. Some will doubt. Some will mock. Emperor, yeah. I'm just gonna listen, call him Professor. And the spark will be lit. Githyanki freedom means nothing if the grand design comes to pass. We need your help, boss. Find your nerve, my friend. Today, we strike at the brain. 
This champion holds the key to the Grand Design's end. Answer to her as you would to me. Your Majesty. I have spoken. Your Majesty. As you wish. I stand at the I edge. love Orpheus. Your friendship. Oh, Your Sal, constancy. this leads directly into in-game. When I fell to despair, they elated me. Lay. Thank you, my friend. Shavazai. It's from the point Shavazai. when you get the third nether stone. Now, that's like if you the go brain. to the Let sewers, the first in the there's no turning back. Like that's that's your no turning back point. Once you go down to the sewer and start heading towards the elder brain mark, end game. You can't do anything else. That's the only thing you're allowed to do. Play. Play. Damn, it's uh really fucked up here, huh? We have lost much already. Wanter brood. And we will lose more before the oh. day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Wither Damon! Hi, Damon. This gate is more than just a city. How are you? It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and, you hear and adventuring souls. So is this going to be all the people that are on our side showing up in this room? What they need, if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today. We fight for your late friend. Oh, shut this the hell the up, actually. Of. Oh, that, that made me mad. Indeed, the one who purged my home of a terrible. No, we didn't get Minsk. My father, Ketherick. There's no one I trust more to protect this city. A fist examines your illithid ally with suspicion. Isabel. He expecting the savior of Baldur's but where's Aelin? Accompanied by a mind flare. Appearances may change, but they do not mask the one within. This one, I know. Let's go, Bone Man! Observe with whom it traveleth. Friends. Yeah, it's weird this that the Flaming Fist is suddenly like, fight How are you? It will save thy city and thy life. The fist eyes your illithid ally with suspicion, softening to curiosity. His hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. My steel is yours, and I'm not alone. No, you Minsk isn't dead. Once. We just never completed I his storyline. I I paid you back with magic. <gasps> Arabella! I am better at crafting steel than wielding it. Your friend here is armored and potion fueled and ready for battle. <laughs> the Moon Maiden's silver light is a shield in dark times. Today, it is mine to wield, and I hold her sword. That's my girl. Whatever strength I have to lend, I will lend it. I will make my city proud again. You carried me once, friend. The strange ox. And now. I'll carry you. <laughs> I made some improvements to Ramsey's artillery. Give the word in the sky. This is like Avengers Endgame. In your way. I'm in the mood to crack some skulls after that fuckery in the Temple of Baal. Not this guy. The City Watch will be glad to oblige me. My people have never hunted a monster this large. Alma? They are eager to join the fray. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me, and from me to you. He's got to say something. And whatever about company you keep. Our stuff. I miss this okay, for all the souls in the city. Call my name, and I'll bring the hellfire. Nature's servant awaits. Glad to have you with us. That was I'm all. Too soon. The air is thick. She was gonna say. Okay. All eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech. Something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead.
I kind of like three because it's very like realistic. But knowing that we're probably gonna win. To blood, death, and slaughter. A fight well fought and a brain well burned. To our freedom. They really didn't care about that. We'll prepare ourselves. All right, Max. We'll be ready when you call upon us. That's okay. Baldurin's grace be with you. I gotta kill. Oh. Orpheus just wasn't allowed in here? I always dreamed of walking these halls, you know. Uh, my dreams never included a giant brain or smoldering ruins, but I'll take what I can get. This might be our last chance to share a kiss. I'm gonna say, how are you faring first? Oh, as well as can be expected when facing down the end of the world. He's so chipper. This might be... No, do you think we can win this? Say for sure. <laughs> but we've come through a lot already. It would hardly do. Did you to call fail her now. a Starion? <laughs> no, he's wearing the Wave Mother's clothes. This might be our last chance to share a kiss. Then we'd better make it count. We'd better survive this. Because I never want to stop doing that. Gail's staring at him like, you bitch. I tried to get with her so many times. I proposed to this woman, despite her never talking to me. But you get all the kisses. <laughs> I want to talk to that owl bear. Hi, baby. You got so big. Even I was surprised by how well the owl bear would take to the potions. Just look at him. <laughs> Glorious little creature. Well, not so little anymore. So true. Hi, Arabella. I wouldn't be here without you. It's time I repaid the favor. I don't want to talk to Mizora. I'll talk to Rowan, though. Cole the Red is here, too? This tower and its dashing master at your side, my friend. Let us finish this. Bodies, bloods, this is the dream. Let's go! I, I was smart to sneak in. The skelly boy said I could stay if I sold your stuff. So hurry up. Bye, bye, bye. You do know there's about to be a huge battle, right? Really? Oh, don't you go getting chopped up. I need customers. Kobolds, man. Kobolds. Let me see what you have. Do you have any cool- you have a single arrow of dragon slaying. Okay. You can have my wares. He's so small. He's like a tiny little guy. We stand ready to help you as you helped us. This is so cute. Oh. We face the greatest evil our realm has known. Mother. And we do it together. On your word, the sword of Saluna will fall upon our foes. How's your girlfriend doing? Press on. This will all be over soon. And then, my gods, I'm having something very strong indeed. Aren't you glad you helped me into the city? I am. Uh -oh. The blood baths I've enjoyed. And now, the greatest one of all. Let's go have some fun. Are they all gonna like trail in after me? Cause that's crazy. All right, I've talked to the important ones. The ones that I wanted to have a chat with. It's crazy that our other companions, like our campmates, aren't here. Like, Will's dad came. Can you imagine? Will's dad is standing next to him in camp. And Will's dad is just like, hey, uh, I'm just gonna head out. I'm gonna go fight the Elderbrain. 
Are you gonna come? And Will's like, I I gotta stay here. Paulson's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Onwards. There is no reason to linger here. There's no reason to linger here. Oh. Hey, yo. The Gur, the Silver Harp Squadron, the Watch, Balm of the Moon Maiden, Mizora, Sword of the Silver Light, Battle Ready Albear, an Apple a Day, Zlorb, a shape shifting monstrosity. Cannot be summoned again if killed in combat. Roland's Firestorm. Do these just seem to be. This one, I'm actually getting the Huntworns to come in. I'm actually getting this. So some of these are like. Isabel will heal us, but she's not going to die in the battle. Mizora can die. The Silverlight can die. Albear can die. Roland will call down a firestorm, but that's it. And Kithraki will f call in fire. That's kind of cool. Well? Wait, we never talked to Withers. We have to talk to Withers. Thou art at the threshold of thy destiny. Thou needst only to take thy last steps to cross it. Okay. Fair enough. Nothing that way. Dead winged horror. Let us go then. <gasps> Dragons overhead. Stay low. Fall back. Fall back. Matthew. Not Matthew. We have to keep he had running. such a normal name. Is this how the City Watch valiantly dis defends its home? Mind flare. Mind flare. It's over. Babe. There's a glimmer of something beyond his words, but in a moment it's gone, consumed with fear. One last run, then we're clear. You got it. That that's it? Oh, we're probably gonna fight the Mind Flayer in here, huh? Wait a minute. Mistress of Souls, Inquisitor of the- Ah, oh, you little shits. You? You little shits. We have a fight to do? I have to keep checking the time. Should I have done that? Come on, babes. Come on, pool boy. Psst, 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 psst. Good job. Oh. close as you can. That's what I thought. Where's the other guy? Really far away. He can just fly. Swords meet sorcery. Okay. On my way. Time to strike. Time for a cup. On my way. Dark with the weave. Mm. 
it feels like I've got what, like 30 minutes? 30-ish minutes to go. Let's have advantage, but I can still... I can't, he's too far. Fuck. Let's go. And he's calling for reinforcements, the little, the little shit. Oh, there we go. What is he? Undead? I don't think I have an un Oh! I have a single one. I'll save it. How much is that gonna do? Do this one. No, 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 we're going over here. Don't worry, we're going over here. Yeah, I'm ending stream around like 5.15. That's been the plan all along, because I've got stuff to do today. That's why we had an early stream. I wanted to get like a good five, six hours in. Yeah, go ahead, everyone get your acid in. What are you? 49, 66. Crazy that the Mind Flayer isn't the, uh, Highest. What does he have? Oh. Have any? No. Okay. You can do this. I believe in you. You're nearly dead. A little over an hour until the mind flare, uh, or a little over an hour until, uh... Until the end of the game. Where's this guy at? Only some of them are getting alerted. That's the weird part. One day, I'll catch a break. Twenty-two. Target's too far. Damn. Can't do anything with her. What do you have? No resistances. What do you mean, not enough movement, sir? Can't shoot anything, huh? Unleash me. Of course. Is she at forty one? Bro, I'm tired.
Blaze is not going to be able to get anywhere. We could Misty step over here. I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm already so tired. Literally can't even do anything. Just the games that have so many, like, low-tier ads just pisses me off. Because that would have been a good, a good get right there, putting the wall of flame there. here so then if they run to get us they can't get to us where are we back at oh we're back at the top of the order god dude a better position but i can't do anything Oh, they, these two guys. Crit hit. Can't reach that guy, that's fine. Victory is assured. Having a real weird bug right now. I want to be able to get a bunch of guys at once. Like, there's fuckers over there, too. Jesus Christ. We have our Sleet Storm. I think I have the Ice Storm. But I want all these guys to run through the wall of fire. There's those guys. I shoot this. How big is that gonna be? Nemesis. Okay. Why would you walk in the fucking flames, you? They're coming around the other way, I see. Yeah, VODs got turned off because uh, we played Hozier during one of our God of War streams. You know, as you do. This is probably going to be a bad idea, but we can always call reinforcements in if we need to. Flame didn't even go. Okay. I didn't even see the beholder. Good job, Blaze. I know exactly what I'm gonna do there. I thought that was a Starion. Right, right, right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna have Mind Flayer, Bud, Orpheus come down here.
How many attacks does he get? These are until long rest, aren't they? Oh no, per turn! Disgusting! Disgusting! That was gross. Gross in the best way. We just wiped out a ton of them though. That was crazy. Man, maybe I should have become a mind flayer. Join us. Hey! Get away from Lay! Not my Basil. I mean, they're all lined up. Nice and pretty. Target is not blocked, actually. Don't really know what you're talking about. Nice. Nice. Good job, baby boy. Okay. Hey! Christmas, babe. Uh uh uh. What's the magic word? Uh uh uh. Alright, star. Damn, that would have been cool. Yes. You'll just chip him down. Um, I really wish that we could get like a better view of the map because this is such a large place and it's so hard to see where everyone is. That's gonna be our- that's a bonus action. Okay, sick. You never know. You're all one hit. That's crazy. O would just do top-down view. And it would not help at all. I just want to be able to pull out like further so that I can see more and it sucks that I can't you know. Yeah whatever. Painting attack, disarming melee, charger weapon attack. Never tried this one. Oh, it's so cool. I can't take that guy out in one. So we'll just go here and wait. Keep thinking. Keep thinking that that is uh, a star yet every time. So there's a bunch of guys over here. One, two, three. I just want to get like a good idea of where everyone is. A lot of them are pretty low health. Oh, there's a bunch right here. 
You fly here. I want you to whirlwind. There. Black hole there. Such a sick move. Um... I could do another nebulous black hole on these guys. Kind of the best option. Cool. Love it. Go take them out, Orf. Take them all out, Orphe. What else do we have? We got this guy. Death won't take me yet. Nice. I don't think I can get to that guy. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think of like the best place for her to be. I guess I'll put her near Astarian. Forgot about you. I'm gonna charm you. You saved, but it would have been cool. Um, level one, so we'll count a spell with three. Get got. You're coming with me? What do you mean by that? Embarrassing. The black hole is, I think, my favorite illithid thing that you can do. That's like a crazy, crazy thing. An advantage on your next attack roll. I'd rather do my two-handed attack. Because it kills. Because it absolutely kills. That's crazy. Alright. I want it to be able to grab that person too. So we're going to move forward a little. And we're going to chain this. Didn't get him. That sucks. Ah, oh, well. Where are you going? Oh, you guys are lining up for me. That's so sweet. Strike you. <laughs> You've passed out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm greedy. Yeah, I'm feeling greedy. Yeah, I'm feeling greedy. What are you at? 26? Soul break you. Nice. Cool. You're knocked out. Okay. Um. What'd you do? Oh, that's what you did, okay.
hope y'all are ready for this. Not quite dead yet. I'm gonna see if I could get one more person in that, but I don't think I can, so we're just gonna... Damn. All right, Brioff. Anyone nearby? This guy. Ooh, we haven't moonbeamed yet. Okay. Great. Got an extra guy now. An extra guy. The only thing we really can do is dash dash. Just to try to get closer to the action. Oh, sweet boy, what are we gonna do? Thunderwave, the Necromite, or we could glyph and hope we can get both of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. No doubt there'll be others. All right, everyone. Gather up. Oh, what a long fight. I hate fights that just have so many ads. Hate them. I have to pee again. I've been drinking way too much water today. I'm gonna go pee real quick, cause this feels, this feels like we're out of out of place. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. My stomach is in knots. The high hall was once a beacon of promise, of wisdom, of celebration. Now, I'd need a re- But I'm ready. You already heard this. That's the word you- I just wanted to get confirmation that he's okay with us doing that. <laughs> um, okay, there's one here. Do we climb? Better not be cursed. 
Not here. Rise. Not Orpheus being the only one to fail. Okay. I figured with, since there was a resurrection point or a point up top that you could. Shut up. Stop sending people. I'm tired. You know, I'm just tired. Swiftly now. The devil's macabre. Devil's macabre. We literally have Orpheus. Where are the other guys at? Up there. Yeah, you get up there. No choice but to keep going. Sliced and burned. Dashed and Oh, Jesus Christ. You can use your reaction to nullify the spell. I'll use... Do I have to... Wait. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. gifted if you were just gifted a sub by a master hater please make sure to thank them for their generosity and chat welcome to the shark tank you put us up to 581 let's go let's go oh the nautiloid what's it doing what the hell was that oh That's what those were. Okay. God. Come on, get down here. Come on, get down here. I know it's the end battle, but let's just get there, you know? Let's just get there. Just push through. Reach the brave. Make it hurt. I speak, they burn. Fireball, firebolt. I'm good with a fifteen. to finish today, but I'm scared we're not going to be able to. I'll go as long as I can. They're all going to move after this, so what I'm going to do... Because they're all going to run through it. We know how they work. You know what they do. Oh, I accidentally walked into that. Time to strike. Make way. Oh. And we have Orf. There's one guy up there. And we go up there, and we deal with him. Alright, get on up here, buds. 
Let's go. Everybody in the fire. Good job. There are so many targeted spots. I just want to get everyone out of them and let the firewall do what it needs to do. Lefty! Lefty, thank you for <laughs> thank you for the nine gifted. If you were just gifted a sub by Lefty, please make sure to thank them for their generosity in chat. We are at 580 or 590 with that. 590, 10 away from our next sub goal. That's crazy. Look at us go. Here? No, these, they're kind of like overlapping. So I'm going to throw myself here with a dash. You're good. I don't know why you went through the caustic brine, but sure. Play cell, get over here. Um, where does that end? There? Okay, we'll go there then. Alright, boys! Come on! Good job, good job, good job, everybody! What about you? <laughs> oh, it kill. Oh, it kills them too? That's crazy. What the hell is happening? It killed everyone. In the airstrike. Right, 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 right. Now keep it going. Casey, we're, we're doing the climb. No, 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 come on guys, come this way. How do I get upstairs? How am I supposed to go up from here? Is it jumping? I actually don't... Is it jumping from over here? It seems like I'd be able to jump oh, up I'm here, so but... Scoop. Master oh, Hater! Oh, Master Hater, thank you for getting us to our 600th sub goal. And also, thank you for the other 10 gifted. If you're just gifted a sub by Master Hater, please make sure to thank them for their generosity in chat, and welcome to the Shark Tank. We just unlocked new emotes. Um, I don't have time to change this, but I think our next one's at 650? We can go quickly look. 650, House Flipper 2 where chat gets to pick. So that's our next goal. Lefty, thank you for six gifted. If you're just gifted us up by Lefty, please make sure to thank them for their generosity in chat and welcome to the Shark Tank. Um, oh, I probably pushed this over and I can walk across it, maybe? Let's play. That's not gonna work. I need something to hit this. Something to hit it hard. I don't know how to, though. Like, how am I supposed to get up there? I feel like if I push this over, I might be able to make it from there. Because I definitely can't jump that. If I have to go this way, I'm going to cry. Oh my god. Is it this way? You know how long it's gonna take to get over there? I could push this over, but I don't have, cause it's medium toughness. A hit of 22 is gonna. Oh. Lazo, I'm begging you, babe. I'm begging you to do something big here.
don't think she can just push it. Target must be movable. try. Cool. I should have done strength with Lazo, but... Oh, okay. Well, that's a way to do that. Saved. Oh. Come on! Let's go! Good job. Can you push this? Please tell me you can have strength. I'm begging you. We're all fucking weak. We're all just weak little... Okay, we got some of it down. I only need one person to reach the top. Does it teleport the party up there? Because I could just get Orpheus to... Travel up there. Lazel. Everyone try. Fuck it. Everyone try. Let you know what? Who cares? Okay. I'll let them do whatever. Today's not the end of finals week. We still have four and a half hours. Fuck. I'm like looking at the time. It's... We're cutting it super fucking close right now. I know we have more to do when we reach the top. I'm also hungry. I gotta like leave right now for the thing. No, I'm definitely not finishing this today. I thought we could, but they just kept throwing ads at us. We're just gonna have to get to a point where we can save. Which is right now. Okay, cool. Um, I am running late, so we're gonna do a quick save and then we will finish this. Honestly, if I can get back from my stuff early, we might just do a second stream just to get Baldur's Gate finished tonight. Um, so if I start streaming again in like two hours, um, you might see me in two hours, who knows? <laughs> Let's see if this is gonna crash my computer again. If it crashes my computer, mods just run a raid on anyone. Um, if it doesn't crash my computer like it did last night, I'll quickly throw you guys into a raid, and then I need to take B out and then leave. Because I also forgot about my fucking car tire. Hold on.
One second. My car tire. Fuck. I think I'll be fine. Okay. Um, thanks for being here, y'all. Thanks for getting us to 606 subs today. We did the new emotes thing. I'll make sure this is changed to our next goal um, so we can finish our 420 hours left. What a beautiful time to end on. Um, thank y'all so much for being here. I appreciate you all. I'm going to find someone for y'all to raid into. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to grab a, grab a quick person. It's Greg's partner anniversary. We've got to go give love to Greg. Greg is wonderful. Greg Greg lurks a lot. Greg um is just a great friend. So, let's go celebrate Greg's partner anniversary. Love you all. I'll see you it, maybe in 2 hours. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Make sure you're following if you want notifications. And uh, pop in the Discord if you're not already. Because my stream schedule is all in the Discord as well. So I'm going to go take Honeybee out. And then I will see you maybe in two hours. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Bye!